Hello, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Exandria Unlimited. I am your DM, your wonderful game master, Bria Iyengar. I'll tell you I'm great. That's fine. Mm. <laughs> Before we start, I want to introduce you to my amazing table. Let's start with Robbie. I am Robbie, Robbie Damon, and I am so excited to go on this adventure with you. I am so excited. Yeah. <laughs> William. Uh, hi, I'm Liam O'Brien. It doesn't matter how many times we've done this. I feel like a bug on a windshield right now. I have no idea what's about to happen. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, hey, I am Ashley Johnson. It's me, and I am <laughs> so nervous, too. This is going to be fun. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, hi, I am Matthew Mercer. I'm super excited to be playing at this table, and I'm having a great time. Oh, I'm in your seat. Hey, Seems Matt, look at me. For I'm in your chair. <laughs> I'm in your chair. You look chair. much better up there. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> she is easier on the eyes. Oh, you have to tell me. Start with advantage. <laughs> I'm Amy Carrero. I'm also having a great time. Thanks for letting me be here. <laughs> Yay! Everyone. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right, first things first, you all start with inspiration. And because these episodes are pre-taped, we're gonna throw to Comfy Matt in the future for a couple of announcements. So take it away, Comfy Matt. Why, thank you, Abria. As you can see, I am extremely comfy here in the future, watching along with everyone else with my sweet little buddy Omar right here. Now, this is our first episode, so we got a bunch to get through. So just hang tight as we begin with our first sponsor for today, the Deck of Many and their animated spells pre-order, which is almost over. So the long-awaited follow-up to the first series of animated spells is here. And these spell cards animate look like you're actually casting the spell. I know, Omar's really excited about it. With nine new decks with animated spells level six through nine, including new Humblewood spells, conditions, a Hunting Illusions deck, and much, much more. You can check out everything at animatedspells.com and check out their discounted bundles before time runs out. Uh, we'd also like to thank our other sponsor tonight, Roll and Play, the Game Master's Fantasy Toolkit, the ultimate book of random tables for D&D and all fantasy-based RPGs. Look at him, he's so excited to play, he's jumping out of his skin. Uh, the inspiration and ideas in this 100-page book, 100-page book even, can be used when planning a session in advance or in the middle of a game if a player catches you off guard with an unexpected question, which never really happens, does it, buddy? That's what I thought. Build your campaigns with NPC names, magic weapons, monsters, features, critical hit tables, and encounters for every environment. There's also tables for potions, and poisons, and plant life, and festivals, and landmarks, and even bizarre diseases, and nightmares to plague your players with, and so much more. Roll and Play, the Game Master's Fantasy Toolkit is available right now in digital and print with international shipping. Pick up yours today at www.rollandplaypress.com, and if you use the code CRITICALROLL10, at checkout, you get 10% off all orders through the end of July. Don't worry, buddy, you won't have to wait too long. We'll get you set up with it. He gets pouty if he doesn't get his cool new books. Some very quick announcements to get through as well. First off, thank you so much for joining us live on Twitch and YouTube. If you want to join our live and moderated community chat, please head over to our Twitch channel to be a part. And thank you especially for anyone who's joining us live for the very first time. As a reminder, VODs for each episode of Exandria Unlimited are available immediately after the broadcast for Twitch channel subscribers and will be available on YouTube Mondays at noon. A podcast version of EXU episodes will also be available a week after the initial broadcast, so check out for that. Uh, in Darrington Press News, uh, our How to Play video for Ukutoa, our first board game, is now on YouTube. Learn how to run, push, and sacrifice others to win in this fast-paced game of semi-cooperative card play. And then, let's play Ukutoa! Join us this Wednesday, June 30th at 4 p.m. Pacific on Twitch and YouTube as myself, Marisha, Laura, Travis, and a crew of terrified Sailor Meeples face off against the Sea Leviathan's Wrath. The VOD will be available to consume on YouTube Friday, July 2nd. Get your own copy of Ukutoa right now, available at all of our Critical Role shops as well as local game stores across the U.S. And lastly, our Alexandria Unlimited t-shirt and journal! Ho ho! Look at this cool thing that you've seen a few of us wear on the show. Omar, see, look how cool that is right there. Whee! Uh, as well as the amazing journal here. Both of these designed by the incredible Grace Berrios are available right now in all of our Critical Role shops. And with that, Abria, back to you. Wow, Matt, you sure look cozy and calm and collected and not nervous like we all are right now. <laughs> But that's it. With all of that taken care of, let's begin tonight's episode of Exandria Unlimited.
we begin where it all started, a world of myth and legend, Exandria, Tal'Dorei, and the most exciting city in the world, Iman. It's 6 a.m. in a place colloquially known as the Upper Slums. The first weak rays of light are trapped behind heavy pewter clouds, threatening rain. And a chill wind carries the salty bite of the Osmond Sea all the way up to the townhouse, where some of you may be. But let's find out. Orem of the Arishari, where are you? I've already been up for uh, 30 minutes, and I'm walking the city. Uh, Orem is uh, a halfling. He has a short shock of brown hair, um, a leaf-themed uh, armor, and a blade with a, a tinge of green to it. Uh, he has a full sleeve tattoo up one arm covered in clouds, and here on the arm, the two moons of Exandria, one within the ring of the other. Um, I'm still not used to a city, to any city, so it feels good to be out early when there aren't that many people in the street so I can take it in at my own pace and time. So, still getting my sea legs. Yeah. Where are you observing the city as it wakes up right now? Well, I started with a ring around the crater in the center of the city. Um, and then I'd heard about um, a keep that still stood on the outside of town and have just arrived there and I'm lingering for five minutes maybe before I head back to uh, meet up with the others. Make a perception check for me. <clears throat> Nine. As you walk around this place that you've heard tell, it's called Grayskull Keep, you have a sense of weight and purpose. And then a little breeze crosses you from the east, and it carries on it a scent that reminds you of home, of the mountains of forest, of old hardy trees that have stood longer than maybe even the city, and something profoundly green, but not quite natural. You shrug it off. I can feel the history on the air here. Is there anything else you want to do or see? Before you head back, you can see a couple carts down closer to the road headed into the city proper, and you can get this sense of the entire town beginning to wake up. Hmm. Well, I hear there's a good magic shop in town. Probably not open, but uh, I think I know where it is. I'll walk past since I've heard so much about it. Nice. And you make your way back into the city as a couple raindrops begin to fall. We move over to Dorian Storm. Where are you? I'm sitting in sort of a broken down chair that doesn't quite look like it should support me. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning back with my back against the outside wall of the townhouse where we spent the evening. And um, sort of feeling morning sun come in and enjoying a, a moment of peace and quiet because the last few days and weeks have been more exciting than anything I've ever experienced. And in this quiet moment, I, I have my loot out, which is sort of this sunburst blue uh, that matches most of what I'm wearing. Um, typically, I have a, a long cape on, but I've got it draped over the chair, and inside the cape is some um, oranges and reds color of a sunset. My skin is also uh, a, a sky blue. Uh, my eyes are crystal blue. Uh, and hair is jet black. And it falls into an ombre over my shoulders. White and light blue, you guessed it. 
And um, I've got my lute in my hand, and I'm just enjoying this moment of peace, strumming out a new melody I've never played before, and humming along with it, feeling this morning very content, very happy. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a performance check for me. <clears throat> See what kind of bard you are. Ooh. 14. As you play, you can feel just a little bit of a breeze kicks up. It's pleasant and it's warm and it flutters the curtains that you're sort of like half-heartedly looking out and a little flutter happens and then another one and it reminds you first of the flutter of the tents at the Everdon, the party where some of you, most of you, all of you met a rager happening a couple blocks away <laughs> that started as a party for Civilization's Dawn and promises to hold through until the new year. And you think about how that all started with levity and has landed you here with this strange group of people that's opened up the world to you. And then the curtains flutter again and they remind you of the tents of your home, the, the silken squall. And you think back to where you started and that closed off feeling, that sense of curtains and fabric holding you in and binding you releases and you're lost in the music, but if anyone else heard you, it would be one of the most beautiful songs they've ever heard. Passive, lilting, drawling out, just you feeling yourself and coming back to the present on this morning. <laughs> Fern Calloway, where are you? Well, I decided to go for a walk because I try not to miss a sunrise or a sunset, and I just wanted to get Little Mister some fresh air. Um, little Mister's my, he's my little monkey. Um, <laughs> he's my little friend um, who's just the best. And Fern um, has a, uh, is a fawn and her little hooves have little bits of moss around them and she has um, flowy clothing and um, is covered in all types of flowers that are poisonous. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, hemlock and, and um, oleander and all of these types of things and just taking in the beautiful day this seems to be. Thanks. Can you make a, na a nature take check for me? I don't know words. Let's try that again. <laughs> nature check. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. 15? Yeah. With the 15, as you are walking down the street, uh, you're able to like spy little flowers, especially like night blooming jasmine, things that are sort of like closing down for the night. They sort of open and turn to you, like the sun. Hello, little beauties. As you go over to it, Mister, who's like right by your side the whole time, like snatches it and just jams it into his mouth. <gasps> oh. And you see that as he opens his mouth, he's not a normal monkey. It's just a furnace, fire, as that flower and the beautiful scent is consumed and burned up immediately. But in that moment, you see a spark brighter than the rest, a beginning of a bigger blaze. And your mind kind of drifts back to standing at the edge of Thordax Crater in one of your earliest adventures and staring into the ground and seeing the seething roiling energy and potential. And just like little Mr. reaching out and grabbing that flower, you jam your hand into the earth and you feel flame licking around it, hotter than flame. And you pull your hand free, unharmed, unhurt, and the fire spirit 
that you held, that you brought into being, looks at you, smiles at you, and resolves into little mister that's standing beside you right now, grinning as a couple little charred bits of plant fall out of his face. Isn't it just so tasty? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I give him a little scrooch under his chin. And uh, heartened by that, since you only give praise, he just starts absolutely like tearing down these like okay, beautiful plants. Well, let's plant. not get carried away. Ah! And just starts jamming him into his mouth. Oh. Uh, make a perception check for me. Because this little dude is not the vibe of the street right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 16. Yeah, with a 16, uh, you hear around the corner, like the door. Uh, suddenly like swings open and this woman looks out the side and you see Mr. like stop jamming plants into his mouth. Look over, he like leans back, looks over at the woman and just grins and screams as she begins like yelling at you. Like, what are you, what are you, what, oh, oh, excuse I me, just... I've been working very hard on those plants. What are you, Oh, I, I, why is he laughing at It's me? fine, I, I can fix them for you. Um, what? Okay, I'll just, um, I will druid craft. Okay. Some of the flowers back that he ate. Um, okay. <laughs> you say that to her, she's very confused and stressed out. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, there's no role associated with druid craft, so what do you do? Say just, again? Just, just describe what your magic looks like as you kind of restore these plants. Um, it's, for how the way Fern looks, you'd think it would be um, gentle almost, but her magic is... Uh, not. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it's, it's almost red and, and fiery and, um, it almost looks like she's gonna be destroying the plants, but what's left in place is, um, just the beautiful night blooming jasmine again. Sweet. Uh, as you do this, you can hear this woman going, no, 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 no! And Mr. starts screaming along with her as this like little corner of the street just gets incredibly loud. And then you step away and the plan is restored. And she's like, uh, uh, yay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Mr. We should probably go back to everybody, okay? Come on. Okay. And you just see, she like never leaves eye contact with you. Just like goes back into her house and Goodbye. watches you out the window. <laughs> she just waves and then Mr. does like a little wave. Oh. And then that, and she's like, ah! And you see the, like the curtains like drop down. <laughs> you make your way back across town. Uh, okay, Dariax, hmm. where are you? I, uh, I'm heavily snoring currently. Uh, <laughs> before something catches in the sinuses and begins to toss awake. And you see, perched at the edge of a roof, one arm dangling off the side, uh, a young male dwarf with kind of uh, wild, floppy, reddish uh, auburn hair with a, like a nice, somewhat unkept chin strap beard, um, wearing a vest over chain mail, uh, one of his boots is off and kind of partially up the um, up the roof behind him of the townhouse. Uh, he's a little bit of drool, just poking down his chin as he kind of. Um. How did? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> as he writes himself and kind of takes in whatever of his surroundings he can make sense of. Yeah, there's like one little like pigeon. It's just sort of staring at you and kind of like waddles a little closer. Yeah, you too. Rough night. Gets a little closer. Well, uh, hair of the dog for you. Go ahead and pull out a small, <laughs> small little uh, little metallic package in my pack. Oh, yes. Please make an animal handling check. Oh, wow. hell yeah. To get this pigeon turned. Hell yeah. <laughs> I thought the metagaming pigeon would come much later. <laughs> right at the top of the show. Nah, I don't know how to wait. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, it like hops a little closer and it like dips its beak into your flask. And thinking that there was bread inside, you see like a look of consternation as its eyes flash red and it just pokes you on the hand and flies away. 
Well, more for me, I guess. Birds. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> he puts it in his pocket and just kind of watches it fly for a minute. The 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 rising sun kind of hitting him. Do me a favor and make. Let's call this a history check to see if okay. you can remember your dream. Ooh, nice. Uh, that is a dirty one. <laughs> oh, thanks. You do not, and we move forward with the story. <laughs> okay, yeah, checks out. Checks out. <laughs> Thank you for your Black service. <laughs> what he does think is like, Shit, where'd my spear go? And he just starts looking for his spear, which he doesn't know where it is, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you kind of like move over to the edge and you see like stuck in the gutter, wedged at like a ridiculous angle, uh, your spear, which is just sloshed over with like leaves and gutter water and other things, because there's not indoor plumbing yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a medieval world, I didn't build it that way. What do you want to do? <laughs> oh, buddy. Let's not forget to hose you down again. Oh. All right, well, let me see if everybody else is up. Once I figure out how far is it to the <laughs> to the floor where my spear is right now. Uh, it's probably only like a like a fifteen foot shuffle down to the edge of the roof, mm -hmm. and then the window that you conceivably came out of to be here is right below that. I'll shuffle over to it and I'm like. Man, I'm better than I give myself credit for if I got up here. Sweet. And I'm you are going to make an acrobatics check. Oh, yeah, I am. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I will kill you in the first five minutes Hell of the yeah. show. Okay. <laughs> Not afraid to. That is a five. Oh! <gasps> boop, 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 boop. Your foot hits like a little bit of leaf on there, and you slide and kind of do the splits on the roof. Oh! <laughs> Just, you hear a little <laughs> of your pants. Oh. Just a little rip. <laughs> as you scooch to a stop right in front of your spear. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna, no, I'm just gonna pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just start marching my way around to whatever door is nearby. Yeah. <laughs> it does smell, it smells like pee. It's, oh. it's, you have a pee spear now. You can add that to your inventory. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, and it takes you probably like a good 10 minutes to like very gingerly wake, make your way back in through the window where you actually see uh, your boy Dorian sitting. Hey, morning. Good morning, Dariax. Is Pee that a pee pee spear yeah. you have in your hand right now? Well, it's a spear. With pee pee on it. Right, did you? Did I? Yeah. What? Pee on my spear. Maybe. <laughs> no, of course not. Oh, I was about to congratulate you. That'd be kind of, kind of a fun prank, but. You don't remember anything from last night, do you? Nah, but I mean, nothing holding me down then, right? Sure. Why don't you go wash your spear and yourself? You both smell about the same. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go wash myself and my spear. I don't like the way you said that. Serious, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for Godot vibes. Right <laughs> and as you exit the room uh, to wash up, Opal, where are you? Opal wakes up. She hears talking and the faint remnant of a monkey scream. So she opens one eye and panics when she realizes. She doesn't have her makeup on or has it on from last night and is looking for a mirror, desperately sniffs herself. It's really bad, grabs like anything that's like, oh no, that's full of pee, that's disgusting. She finally finds a mirror and is trying to fix herself up because this is her first time in the big city and she will not be caught without her face. Um, she cleans herself up a little bit. She puts on her... Um, satin, sateen, pink jacket that she sort of like laid over herself as a small blanket, except it's a crop jacket, so it didn't do much. She puts it on. 
She ties her. What a long way. <laughs> yeah, just, the, just to cover the cleavage on her uh, crop top. And um, she pulls up her hair, which is iridescent, and it almost looks white when it's not moving because it's iridescent and opalized. And she puts it in a half up, half down sort of do. And um, she checks in on her necklace that she's wearing. It's a rose gold necklace. The pendant is an open hand, and inside there's a small opal. And she's just like tired, but so happy to be there. And she looks out the window, which is nearby, and just takes in the big city for the first time. She's finally out of her small town and living the life she always wanted to live. Uh, I'm gonna have you make me a constitution saving throw. Cause I, I feel like y'all turned up last night and I just wanna see how my girl's doing. Not great. She's, uh, she's at a seven. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, as you sort of go through your morning ritual of setting yourself up and kind of trying to greet the day as best you can, you take that one beautiful look out the window and the light hits your eyes and goes directly to your brain, oh. punches you in the brainstem. Oh. Do not try to outdrink the dwarf. No. You will learn that eventually. But I'm so much taller than him. <laughs> <sighs> but it's fine. He's been practicing. So you're a little hungover, mm -hmm. and in that moment where your eyes snap shut and you see like the pink of your eyelids behind your eyes, everything goes a little darker, and your attention moves a little more inward past where you consider yourself in your head and it moves deep into your chest, almost behind your necklace at the center of yourself. And you feel a presence like your twin sister who you grew up with and followed you around, but you both made different decisions when you left your, your home. Mm -hmm. You're here now and you don't know where she is. Mm -hmm but for just that half of a heartbeat while your eyes are shut, it feels like she's right beside you. <gasps> Ted? Ted? Are you here? Dorian and Dariax, you just hear uh, mumbled, Ted, coming out of a, one of the rooms. <clears throat> I'm going to um, lean around the side of the um, cracked front door and say, <clears throat> Everything all right in there? Oh, you're not Ted. Hi, good morning. <laughs> okay, I don't recall anyone named Ted from last night or... Oh, who's Ted? Um, Ted is, uh, uh, blah. Did I say Ted? I meant Dorian. I said, Dorian, is that you? <laughs> okay, and I'm going to just squeak my chair back to where I was <laughs> and continue playing. Squeaks out of frame, I squeeze into frame. <laughs> Opal. Yeah. Did you pee on my spear? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's on that note, did you pee on my spear that both of you have made your way back to the townhouse? Oh, hey. Hi. You up and about already? Up and about, I just, I, I love to watch the sunrise because I think it's one of the most beautiful things to ever see. Mm. How's the little man, he uh, eating the shrubbery still? He's, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Yes. Mr. Hobbles on over, grabs just your hand. Squishes, oh my hand, oh yeah. my gosh, then I'll use my other hand to squish his hair a little bit. He puts Actually, like some crumpled up leaves in it. You know, I lean down, but not really. I just kinda <laughs> <laughs> reach out. I'm a little Hello. taller than you, buddy. Hey. <laughs> this much. He offers you some plants and then he just gestures to your mouth. Oh, uh, is this, that's not poisonous. I'm sure he can eat it. I've given him all kinds of things so far. That's good. He gives you a massive toothy fanged grin and you see just a couple flickers of flames behind his teeth. I don't know what Dariax's problem with is. I like him. I like him too. Yeah. At the sound like at the sound of his name, you see his eyes flash red. <laughs> Sorry, right. I mean, he has his uses. <laughs> well, I, mean, I should be you. You're the monkey. <laughs> he does, give him a chance. You'll warm up to him, warmer than you already are. He spits on the ground and it burns a little hole in the rug. <laughs> okay, well, 
Everybody has their hiccups. And he moves from you and moves back behind Fern. Just starts like playing with your your skirt. Come on. Want to find the others? Yeah. All right. Did these two just walk up to yeah. the house? Yep, they are now at the house. You're all together. Yay. Well, Yay. Good I like morning. that one up. <clears throat> so, um, anything special on the morning patrol? Uh, maybe rain. That's about it. How about rain. food? Anyone have food? Oh, well, Is there yeah, food in this townhouse? Some, I'm sure we could find some. Food! <laughs> food? <laughs> They're not getting back to me, so. I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> she just calls out food? for anything. The kitchen ghost responds, there's food here. <laughs> Dariax is over there drying off his spear with the curtains and goes, does that actually work? Sometimes. Whoa. Depends on who you are. Yeah. Food! Uh, you know what? No, uh, Mister comes down and like comes over and just slaps you in the leg. I gotta like, hold the, sp- the butt of the spear towards him, like, hey, hey, it's too early for that. And he just looks at you and ah! <sighs> let's all go inside before the monkey and the angry man kill each other. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Let's go. Food. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and then runs over to Opal. <laughs> All right, uh, I would like, Dorian, give me an investigation check sure. to actually like look like a normal person for food in a house <clears throat> instead of just summoning it from the ether. Hey, that's Respect a- Respect the drip, though. That's a one. Oh, my God. oh no. Yeah. <laughs> we eat all the food. We're getting them out of the way. <laughs> yeah. That, that Sunday and, morning and after the, the, yes. the, the bed and breakfast that you've never been to before, and you're like, there has to be cereal somewhere here, right? Right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you go into the kitchen, and you just see a bunch of like upturned, like, it, it's very clear that you guys made a bunch of food and snacks last night, but in the couple of days since you've been here, no one's gone grocery shopping, and you see like a couple grapes, like half of a some sort of melon that looks like it's not doing amazingly, mm. but there's not a lot of food in the house right now. Mm. Well, uh, the bad news is we are out of food. The good news is we could always just go out into the streets and scream food and see if anyone brings any. Hey, you know what, sometimes that works. Maybe my grandma will come bring us some food. You, what we, are you talking, has that ever some, worked? It works with my grandma at my grandma's house. Is your grandma here right now? Grandma! Oh, God. <laughs> No, she's not here. You know, instead of shouting into the air, we could just go to one of the two or three places I saw open on my walk this morning. Oh, let's let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Pub food. Yeah. Pub food. All right. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. Mm-hmm. Nice. So you head out the door, and uh, maybe like a block or two away, uh, within view of like a little green space, kind of a park. It's like a little outdoor restaurant. Um, is part of an inn called uh, The Third Wing. <laughs> Didn't just make that up right now. There That's it is. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wing. Oh, it's so fast before you the did stuff that I didn't prepare for. I've got questions. Is it like an Wild. unwanted third wing? Or, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a goose like trying to hide it. Yeah. Start building the lore. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Opal's like, where's the second one? <laughs> There's two out and the third's being tucked away. It's a little goose in like a, like a, he's got like a bow tie. It's a franchise. Yeah. There's a couple of these across. Yeah. I'm kind of more of a fan of the vestigial tail myself, but you know. Vestigial <laughs> tail. And as you guys go up and like sit down at these little like outdoor patio chairs, you see like a large older Goliath woman kind of gives you a little head nod. She spotted you as you were walking Ooh. back across town. Morning. Is it a... Uh... Too early? Is it all right that we... Oh, um, <clears throat> sure. yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do you, inside or outside? Oh. Does it still look like it's gonna rain or? Actually, yeah. Like there's a, you were in the drizzle when you were on the outside of town. You can see that those clouds are sort of moving inward and it's going uh, to rain. I like the rain, but not eating in it. Should we go inside? Good idea. All right. Good idea. Wait, is I it gonna rain? Waterproof. Uh, looks like. I guess. Mm. Okay, um, Sure, and uh, 
she just kind of waves you all to go inside and you see her like heaving these massive rut iron patio furniture. She's like grabs a table and kind of hefts it up and like grabs like four chairs and just follows you in holding like 400 pounds worth of iron. Like, okay, okay, okay. That's boss. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's very strong. Sweet. Um, we've got bread, um, beer, fruit, this meat, it's bacon. All of it. Yeah. Oh, bacon. Sweet, okay. Bacon for sure. And may I have um, a glass of milk with a shot of whiskey in it, please? That kind of girl. Okay, okay. Oh, make that two. Three, but without the milk. Oh. <laughs> sure. I'll just bring the bottle. And uh, she kind of disappears as a like, little sideways shuffle because she's a little too wide, goes out the back door. And uh, yeah, you guys are able to like grab the big, nice sort of floofy uh, leather booth in the back. And she comes out every couple minutes. She drops off like a fresh, lo- like, a fresh loaf of bread, a uh, bottle of whiskey, like a little pitcher of milk and like a little jar, like a little jar of honey. And she's like, bacon will be in a couple minutes. I have to wake up my husband. Cheryl! <laughs> Cheryl. <laughs> hey, it works for her. It does. Okay, let's try it. Well, how did everybody sleep? Did everybody sleep? Did everybody sleep, yeah. I slept a little bit and then I woke up to the sound of monkey, mister. Um, but yeah, I'm like so excited. I don't know why. I just can't stop. Like, I can't just get a good night's sleep. I just can't. I'm just so excited. Jerry X? What? What are you looking at? Oh, no, I was just trying to think if I, if I had a, I don't know what I did last night, but I woke up on the roof and that was crazy and Opal peed on my spears. So like, it must have been fun, right? For sure. Was it on the roof when you peed on it? Yes. I seem to remember a contest. Oh, who like could we pee? all just put our asses off of the roof? Yeah, we could pee on the spear. Am what? I making this up? No, I think you're right. No, yes, I lost because my ass is the smallest. Yeah, couldn't get it that far it out. It just hit the roof. I did yep. pretty good. Oh, we're doing a flashback. I need a performance check from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out who Bye. won. I'm confused about the mechanics. Why is my yep. ass off the roof when I'm, am I peeing backwards? What's the, what's the challenge? Well, the gal's asses are off the roof. <laughs> yeah. Ooh! <laughs> What'd you get? You know, I, I didn't remember it quite well enough. I'm pretty limber, I got a 20. Oh, snap, okay. Oh. Can anyone beat a 20? 23. Whoa! Ooh. Can anyone beat a 23? Mm-mm. Okay. Now, there's a reason I woke up on that roof. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any natural ones to report? Oh, please. No, no. Uh, <sighs> can't right. beat that leg reach. <laughs> <laughs> She's got such long legs. Opal, please describe as everyone kind of has a moment as their memories lock into place. Opal's victorious. Wait, wait. I can do it because I've done this before. And what you, the, the way to do it is you gotta almost like, it's like a squat, but better. And then, and then just, and then you just shoot it out. <laughs> but it, you got to be careful because if you have a dookie in there, that could come out too. I spent the whole time just in a crouch, ready to grab because she looked like she was gonna go uh, ass over tea kettle. You <laughs> thought she was going to? For fun. But the heels are actually like a really good counterbalance. They're like the exact angle of the roof. So she's just doing like a normal sit. You she's... know, I can't walk in flats. I'm just saying. My, heel, my arch won't support it. <laughs> I'm just saying like the metals with points, but if you get the ribbon on top, it's double. Wow. It's a dare. <laughs> <laughs> Dared. Oh, can I just get this over with? On the count of three, everyone pee. One, two, three. And all of you were. <laughs> nope, we don't have to do the sound. We don't have to do. We could just I, do like I, a cool um, cut. I rolled a seven, so I had just a little dookie cup there. <laughs> oh, Oops. oh, oh no, I rolled a pellet. six. What happens to An me? An apple pellet. <laughs> a little goat pellet pellet. comes out. <laughs> Uh, do me a favor, make a, uh, make a dexterity saving throw for Mr. Cause he's okay. going for it. He's like, oh, ammo, tight, I'm a monkey. Oh God, I don't have stats for him. Should I just use mine? Yeah, just no. use yours. That's okay, cool. still, it's very bad, it's head. <laughs> he goes to try to grab it and he kind of just splats his hand oh, on no. it. And he's gonna turn to Dariax. I'm passed out. 
I don't fell, put it I in fell, your eye. I fell asleep but like as I'm getting ready and just like <laughs> <laughs> one arm hanging over the roof. Yeah. Hey, come here. I think you should give him um a little paint. Oh. <laughs> and he like slowly makes his way over and oh. does his best to not wake up Dariax and just does like a little mustache situation. He tries to replicate his own beautiful white beard. Yes, that is just a work of art. Yeah. Oh, that and is some, like, not coming ones. out of his facial hair. No. <sighs> Don't get it near the eyeball. And then he claps his hands and goes, ah! <laughs> That's where we flash back. <laughs> and you're back in the tavern again. <sighs> Derek, have a little. <laughs> <laughs> What's Honestly, up? Just a little, I smelled just a, it and I didn't a, want to yeah, say. Yeah, I forgot just about that. I don't remember your. I haven't eaten yet. This is I didn't remember from... your beard being so mottled. <laughs> just trying to keep it nice and oiled. Why would? I think you might have rolled into something on the that roof. That sounds like me. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just wash up a bit. <clears throat> you take off again for your second round of wash up. Maybe this one will stick. Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> Who knows? My mom would be proud if it did. <laughs> and you pass by uh, the Goliath sort of barkeep as she lays out a massive plate of bacon in front of all of you. Wow. This is, you guys are up very early. Wait, any cool parties? Like, what's going on? Are you all here from the Everdon? Yes. Yes. He got shit on his beard. <laughs> no, I smelled it when he came in. I wasn't going to say anything. It's pretty great. <clears throat> did you do it? I didn't do it. Someone else did it. But what happens in the townhouse stays in the townhouse. Except for the poop on the beard. Because that came here. <gasps> yeah, next time, um, please don't have shit on you when you come to, like, my restaurant. Oh, it's just for a sure. Spot. Thank you. Yeah. Very good call. Mm. Very, very good call. To answer your question, we yes. started at the party. Yeah. And um, since then, we've been sort of milling about as freelance adventurers. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Would you. No, okay. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Well, do we not do something you adventurous? You're catching us at a bad time. I mean, we're usually very professional. Yeah. You just talked about putting shit on the no, door. No, I know, but that's we, that's 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 a bad time. I'm talking about you caught us in. Mm. Yeah, that was that was a, not our highest for fun. Hey, man, work hard, play hard. Yeah, yeah, that I kind of believe. If you're not interested, I guess I don't have to regale you with stories of our adventures. So I'll just have some bacon. And my feelings are hurt, I, and I'm gonna walk over to the bacon, and I'm gonna eat a piece. <laughs> I was feeling proud, and now my feelings are hurt, Goliath lady. <laughs> and she looks over at you like, I'm, so, I'm sorry? It's okay, I'm sorry. Do you, do you want to tell me a story of your adventure? He's a, he's a very good mm -hmm. singer and poet. Oh, <clears throat> like a bard? Yes, I'm a bard. <gasps> play us a song. <gasps> yeah, play us a song. Well, I have bacon lips. It's hard to play the flute with bacon <laughs> lips. Um, all right, just one. Uh -huh. And uh, and I uh, on my hip, I I have what appears to be a hand axe, uh, but with a a gentle click, I unclip it from the axe part, and it's actually a flute, uh, which is the handle of my axe. She just goes. Mm, thank you very much. And nice. I begin to play a little morning tune on my flute. Sorry, bacon lips. <laughs> but I wipe right. it off, I and I get a little, little bit uh, better. I push a little pot of honey over towards you. You might want to <laughs> grease the instrument. Thank you, know. you so much. <laughs> Dip my finger in the oh, honey and boy. just sort of get it in there. <laughs> it sounds much better. <laughs> Make a performance check with advantage. Oh. Yay! <laughs> because you've honeyed your flute. Oh, uh, 18 and oh, and a nine. So 18 with performance. Uh, that is a 22. Woo! Woo! Nice. Let's go. Uh, by the end of your song, uh, she is just sitting at the end of the table and her arms are sort of just leaning on it and the entire like this like 50 pound solid is just tilted in her direction. She's just staring at you. Ooh. That was lovely. 
and I finish my last note, and I click my flute back on, and I am. You see her kind of like turn her ring around. <laughs> <laughs> I notice her turn her ring around, <laughs> and I am wildly uncomfortable. Uh, but I'm kind of into it, and I like the attention. <laughs> So I just give her a wink and then I go back to my, and I kind of turn my shoulder coyly and go back to my bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Old honey flute, they call it. Right in the moment of this, this kind of heated attraction, I kind of just lean into her eye shot and be like, all right, piss on my spear, shit in my beard, that's two pranks, well done. <laughs> Whoever else did this for me, let me know, because I'm going to get you back, it's going to happen. I'm just waiting for the day. <laughs> Well, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of y'all. She kind I, of startles back, and I you think actually. I that was my it. fault. Respect. I love pranks. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna have some times. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see his demeanor change from like a jovial to like plotting. plotting. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, as the Goliath woman walks away, you actually hear her like ripping a small sheet as she tears up your guys' check, throws Ooh. it away. Oh, man. Nice. Stick, stick with you. Hey, so have you guys been, how, can you tell me how many taverns you've been to in, in your life? <laughs> <laughs> well, you first. Because that's a very pointed question. Second. Second? Second. Wow. I mean, like, city tavern. So? Tavern. Oh, second. Second? Mm. Thanks. Yeah, I think. Uh, wait. Yeah, this is. This is my second as well, I think. Wow. Are we all from small town? <laughs> this would also be my second. No! <laughs> yes! Second That's tower! Crazy. What about you? Is this your second? Oh, well, no. You see, I came from a small town, too. Oh, you know, uh, Turst Fields, not far from, well, actually quite far from here. Um, this would be my. And there was Kaimol. <gasps> that was. It's quite some play. Then, getting the crack hammer and just. I'm going to be honest, I, I can't count that high. Wow. But, um, but it's been a lot. It's been a lot. That's so. That's my dream. Tavern crawl. Well, I mean, I'm happy to show you around if I can remember most of them. Great. But uh, it's a good time. It's a good time. Good, good. Maybe good. we can recover from last night before we start planning our newest tavern crawl. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, sober up, have a bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fill up, fill up the where tummies. do we go from here? After breakfast, that is. That wasn't a grand question, just. I mean, if uh, no one's got any ideas, I can go to my usual go-to. Which is? Which is? You see him fiddling with this object that hangs around his neck, this like light chain. You've seen it on him. It just looks like it's an adornment, but it's it, it's like a compass, like a, a somewhat hollow, uh, almost like a compass rose. It looks mm. like it was attached to something in the past, or it's like it's it's a very intricate design. He goes, "Well, but when we finish up here, I'll I'll show you a uh, I'll show you a little trick." Hmm? I love tricks. All right, sounds interesting. He just takes a handful of bacon. Yeah, you guys are able to uh, <clears throat> spend a lovely morning uh, eating. You don't have to pay for any of it. Uh, that Goliath woman is just creeping. Like, she's in a very high windowsill, like eight feet up, and you can just see her little eyes <laughs> look over at you. Give a big, obvious wink, and then you hear her elbow someone, and you say, oh, ow. Let me have this. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time you wrap up, uh, it's like a it's like a steady drizzle outside. <clears throat> oh, mm. hair's not waterproof. <laughs> also, can you remind me? I'm trying to remember through the haze of all the drinking last night. Yeah. Uh, what? Where the fire ashari are? Where we left off in our tale? Make a history check for me. Okay. Oh, that's not bad. 17. The 17, you're starting to rack your brain. And now that you've turned your attention back to this, a lot of strange things that have, have happened in the last couple days are snapping weirdly into place. And you remember just a day or so ago, waking up in the morning on the road outside of Amman, 
but you don't really know what happened before. And there's a tidy blink of about a week, now that you've put it together, that is just gone from your memory. But before that, at the very bleeding edge of what you can recall, you remember being at Thordax Crater in the Cloudtop District and seeing footprints leading out and away towards where you know the Scar of the Cinder King is and the rest of the Fire Ashari remained. And as you're putting it back together, it would make sense that you would have gone and sought out the Fire Ashari. Mm -hmm. But all of that is a tidy blink. You woke up as a group outside of the city walls, not sure how you got there or what your purpose was. And instead of investigating it too much, you made your way back into the city. And new campaign, new timeline. Yeah. New GM. Uh, the crater is different than the scar of the Cinder King? Yes. Thordax Crater is in the center of the Cloud Top District. Yes. It's where he was sitting. Right. And the scar of the Cinder King is a little bit to like the eastern, south, like outside of town. Okay. And it's this like massive fissure Got and it. it's like a whole event space. So the crater is where he had his pissing contest. And the Scar of the Cinder King is on edge of the city. Yes. Which we haven't been to yet. You haven't. Thank you. I mean, maybe you were there. Mm. Mm. You don't remember. We got a drink less. Because mm. I don't more. remember a full week. It's been a week. Yes, it, it has been. Oh my gosh, no week. wonder I stink. I have nothing. No bits or pieces. I just remember waking up with you all on the road and then... We partied and here we are. I remember a rich guy. Yes. Oh, yes. Lothal. Yes. Lothal. Yes. You Lothal. are living in his townhouse. Yes. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. that's I think that's the guy in the painting. <laughs> this isn't our townhouse? No. No. Oh. Oh, no. You do need to drink less. This was before the week that we lost. <laughs> Probably. Time is a, a weird uh, soup. Soup? You know, I... Time's a weird soup? Is that a saying where you're from? <laughs> uh-huh. I mean, all that right. kind of tracks. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it is, we all say it where I'm from. It's kind of a, um, we just say it all the time when things just don't make sense. Are time you, is a weird are, soup. Are you lying right now? Of course not. I need you to sense. make either a persuasion or deception check. But you have to tell us which, which it is. Um, 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 is time a weird Persuasion, because time is a, it, it's real. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 16. Uh, go ahead and roll an insight check oh, yeah. to oppose it. <clears throat> oh, 16, do I have a bonus? I have a plus one, 17. Ooh. You look at her and you see in those like giant fawn eyes, nothing but open and honest truth. Time is a weird soup. Time is a weird soup. Yeah. Like a chowder. Huh. Yes, very chunky. Chunky. Chunky time. Fern, can you make a wisdom saving throw for me? <laughs> yes, I can. Going off the rails. <laughs> yeah. We yep. didn't start on the rails, you're yeah. good. Feels like, feels like a D&D game. Yeah. <laughs> We've been grinding dirt for about an hour. I don't know if you're paying attention. <laughs> Some of them grinding uh, it into my beard, so. Eight. Who? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good reaction. The impartial voice of God. Who? Oh. Who? <laughs> Who? Uh, with an eight, as you think back to uh, some of the weirder sayings from the Feywild from which you hail, uh, you have this like little pull at the back of your mind, a sense of familiarity, almost connectivity, but you quickly lose the thread of it. Hmm. That was weird. You okay? Make a wisdom saving throw for me, Dorian. <clears throat> yeah. That's for like putting stuff together. Mm -hmm. You just had a weird, well, maybe eight. it's just a headache. Another eight? Another eight. Tight, tight to tight. Whew, all this plot I don't get to give you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, Dorian, as you're also kind of thinking back and trying to piece together the missing week that you all share, hmm. you're missing someone. 
and you have that thought for an instant and then it goes away and it all kind of resolves back into the fog of not knowing. Well, we've established that time is a weird soup. <clears throat> a chowder. A chowder. Yeah. We've had breakfast. Should we look for contracts for adventure? Contract! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Darius, you were going to show us a trick. Oh, we? yeah, show us a trick. All right, all right. So let's uh, look for a, make sure we have a little open space here. Step back a little bit, if oh. you don't mind. Just make a little oh. circle here. Would this be better outside, or mm. we're good? Uh, you know what? Let's, let's pick a road intersection. Vern? Yes. Pick a road intersection. This is where this works best. Pick a road intersection? Yeah, yeah, just point us to one. Um, let's do that one. Hey, that was like a perfect intersection. Let's go, come on. Okay. It kind of bounds over. All right. <clears throat> See, excuse me. We're doing mm-hmm. something. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> he walks around all of you. Anyway, <laughs> takes it off. Holds it, detaches the chain from the compass rose, sets it on the ground, puts his hand over it for a second, spins it. It slows and slows and slows until it comes to a stop. Kind of to the left is where the point on the compass, where the north is, and he goes, we go that way. Nice. (laughs) That's the trick? Yeah. Is that a compass? Yeah, well, it's more of a decoration, but. It's just like throwing a dart at a map and picking a place to go. We can do that too. That's it's up fine. to you. I mean, this always worked for me. So or it pointed that way, and we're going that way? Unless you got a better idea. Hasn't steered me wrong this far. Do we have a better idea? Mm-mm. <laughs> it uh, really is in my Orm and Opal, idea. can you make perception checks for me? You seem the most nonplussed by this trick. <laughs> Perception, you say? Yeah. 21. Ooh. 12. You're kind of lost in it. And as you're interacting with this, Orem, your attention is taken as you see a person standing strangely in front of your townhouse, just around the corner. Someone we've seen before or somebody new? From here, you don't recognize them. Okay. Just red leather. Duster. Okay, I'll watch a moment. You see that they lean forward and begin etching something onto like the front, like the lintel on the side. Huh. And look up, and look around, and begin to slink back. Bert my gaze. I see them doing that. Just try to watch from my peripheral. Are they hanging out or are they taking off? You see this person kind of takes up across the street and slinks into the shadows between, like in the bushes of a couple other townhouses and is just sort of like watching. I walk over to uh, Dorian and uh, tug on his pant leg. Down here. Okay. There was some guy messing with the door on the townhouse and he uh, floated back into an alley across the road. Like a handyman? Was he fixing the hinges, sir? I mean, I've never seen a handyman slink into the shadows after fixing something. Good point. What do you want to do? You're our little tactician. (laughs) Well, options. We could double around the block and try to come up behind whoever it is. All right. And get the jump on them. Okay. There's just walking up to the door and seeing what that guy just did to it. He drew something, he, he wrote something. Um, I don't know, I like the first option better. All right, I trust you. Okay. Also, this conversation's definitely happening long enough if like any of you want to clock it. <laughs> sure. I'm already walking down the road. Oh, God. Like, yeah. I'm part way away now. <laughs> The, uh, the townhouse. Okay, tell her, tell her, and I'm gonna run after Darius. <laughs> Darius! What? Darius! Oh, 
Come back, come back, come back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about something important. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. And I'm gonna put, put my arm around him, and he, he's so surprisingly dense. I'm gonna try to <laughs> try to kind of like pull him, and I realize I can't. I'm just gonna be like, ah, oh, come on, come on. I put my arm around him, like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like around my liver. It kind of hurts a little bit. This sturdy boy. And we 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 <laughs> walking like pals. <laughs> yeah, just like pals, right back to the crew. Yeah. He saw something. <gasps> what? He saw somebody fucking with the door oh. of the townhouse. Fucking the door? No, 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 with, with, with. The with, oh, with. That's fucking okay. with the door? Fucking. Oh, fucking with the door. <sighs> I, I understand. How do you fuck with a door? You said he was drawing something? You thought he was uh, etching he, yeah, something he in the door? he was carving something in it. That's I don't graffiti. Know if he was... It could have been. Should we go? It could have been Shh. a message. Let's go. Let's go. I'm already walking to the door. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perception check. Um, okay. <laughs> and seeing that, I swear under my breath, and I immediately start trying to surreptitiously like go wide and try to cool. creep around to where. Oh, All right. A pincer maneuver. We yeah. love this. Make a stealth check for me. Yeah. Seventeen perception. Yeah, um, mm. you are walking back, and you actually like can see as this person pushes a little bit farther back into the shadows of these like bushes, and you see like a little flash of like red leather and blue hair mm. as they like try to sneak like slink away. But you absolutely clock them as you make your way to the door. What does it say? Hey. I, just, I dress them. Amazing. <laughs> How'd you do it yourself, Chuck? 18. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were already doing a really good job of like sneaking around the block, and then uh, they were directly addressed. <laughs> so you're able to like get around behind if you ever want to do anything at any moment. I'm going to say that like you are beneath. Yeah, I'll let them keep talking, and I'll just slowly get within maybe 15 feet of whoever it is in the bushes. Do we Perfect. do we see him flanking the red jacket guy? Yeah. Okay. So the party yeah. knows that he's he we, he's got this back. Oh. Yeah, 100%. So whatever I'm going to walk I'm going to try to get a little closer to the door to see what maybe he was fucking with okay. in the door. Okay. So as you walk over to the door, uh, this person kind of just looks over at you <laughs> in the bush. Right. Hey, were you fucking with the door? What? Both are. We went, Are you fucking the door? What? I was fucking the door. That's, that wasn't, that's kind of uncouth. I'm not gonna lie. Isn't fucking the? I have no. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, and I was not fucking. I wasn't anywhere near you. I don't know who you are, or where you live. So I'm just over here. I'm a gardener. And reaches up and just like pulls a leaf off of the bush. <laughs> <laughs> drops it on the ground. And you see, uh, this is like uh, a, just a human woman. Uh, she's got coppery skin with this like really interesting, like surprisingly symmetrical vitiligo pattern mm. across her face, like long blue hair that's like shaved on the side and uh, like a big red leather duster with like a crimson high scarf mm. to kind of keep the chill out. Really fashionable for a gardener. Yeah. Thank I Thank you. It must be city gardeners. It's just a gardener, guys. It's fine. Yeah, she's just a fashionable city gardener. <clears throat> I yes, I'm a god. She like pulls a knife out. It looks like a very uh, aggressive blade, and just starts slowly sawing. Inside check. Inside <laughs> check. <laughs> yes. Go ahead and make an inside check. I feel like she's not telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um. Seven. City gardeners, wild, wow. so fashionable. And she's just sawing, and then like it like lands on her, and a couple like bits of sap get on her jacket. And she's like, no. <laughs> yep, Gar garden. I'm a garden. A garden. I don't know who you. Who are you? From fifteen feet behind her, she hears, um, uh, "What were you gardening on the door?" Ooh. <laughs> oh, you guys are all everywhere. I'm down aren't here. You? We're surrounding you now. Oh, yep. <laughs> Certainly appears that way. Um, oof, 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 oof. Make an intimidation check for me. Ooh. Uh, that is an 18. Ooh. And I'll just slowly pull the sword. Okay, up. okay, we all have gardening tools here. <laughs> she kind of adjusts herself and steps back into the street. All right, you all live at this place. In the place you were defacing, yeah. I mean, uh, you see uh, that little bit, you see a little bit of graffiti. It looks like the double-edged uh, axe of the lawbringer, uh, a lawbearer, but it's kind of turned into like a chalice 
And this is sort of just like general, like Everdon graffiti. But make an Arcana check for me. It's fantasy Coachella around the corner. Uh, even still, as you look at it, your eyes unfocus a little bit and it seems to blur and shift before it resolves back into this like carved in little bit of cup graffiti. Something's not quite right there. And she just walks and walks full and clear into the street with her hands up. She puts the blade away and goes, okay. The thing is, none, um, I heard that um, this was a property owned by the Cirrospects in Cloudtop. Bunch of rich gentrifiers mm. in the neighborhood, but none of you look rich. <gasps> so now I'm a little confused. Well, that's rude. Okay, to explain. We're guests. Yeah, we did the family a good turn. Mm. And I mean, I only smell like this because we have lost a week. Okay. I don't know at all what the fuck that means. So she I'm really not gonna- contest. I did win the pissing she contest. I did win a pissing contest. <clears throat> Literal, I'm gonna talk to you. Or you, no, no, I'll talk to you. You, you, hey. We know you're not a gardener. So why were you defacing this property? What does that symbol mean? Oh, that's, you know, the, the Everdon, it's party. I love partying. I'm drunk from the party. You're a terrible liar. I'm not used to being seen. Not used to being seen. You hid in a bush and we all saw you. Yeah, I mean, I saw you and that yeah, we doesn't say much about your skills. Rude. I'm just right. pointing Fine, that out. fine. Very visible. Okay, hold on. And she turns and she snaps and the illusory script dissipates. And you see a hand clasping a five-pointed star. Ooh. Does that mean anything to any of you? Does it mean anything to any of us? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dariax, make a, just a general intelligence check for me. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my inspiration. Good call. <laughs> on that natural two, <laughs> minus one it would have been. <laughs> oh. oh fuck. And instead of placing my natural four, <laughs> minus one, so three. It means nothing to you, but it looks close to some things from a shadier bit of your time in Amon before you hooked up with this group. The rest of you who have been to roughly two taverns each, <laughs> nah, <laughs> They're just nah, homies, that's nothing. And she like very slowly moves and looks at you all for any sign of recognition and finding none. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. You're not a gardener, are you? Oh, oh my God. Oh God, and her entire like guarded posture relaxes. Huh. Dariax actually like gets kind of intense about this. He's like, I don't like being lied to. Okay. I am telling. All right, you have like a lot of weird energy. I feel like you're really mad about the not gardening thing. We have a problem? No, I just have had problems with other people who tend to lie a lot and, you know, some of them draw shit like this on doors and. He's been to a lot of taverns. He like, knows about this. A lot. Mm -hmm. And he's our friend. So, Aww. if he doesn't like it's okay. It's just, <laughs> if he doesn't like someone, I don't like someone. And I don't like that you're lying either. You come here, mm. deface our house, and then lie mm. to our faces. And then I I I want to <laughs> I want to play off of maybe Dariax isn't making a play, but I want to like unclip. I'm gonna unclip my axe and just just draw. Just make it clear that I'm drawing my weapon, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna match Dariax's seriousness over something else. And Opal puts her long leg against the wall and just shows Ooh. off her dagger. Maybe like sensually, just touches it. When are your friends supposed to show up? <laughs> Not till tomorrow, for what it's worth. But seeing as you are not the people 
we thought we would be dealing with. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. And we don't need to come to blows. It's all a bit messy. I missed half that, I'm sorry. Oh my god, what is his deal? I can't tell if he's, what? I was gonna say something cool and I forgot what it was, but it was gonna be threatening. Yeah. And you should be feeling real bad about it now. No, honestly, I, th I kinda thought it was going to, in anyway, what was your deal? Who exactly are you negotiating for? That's what I was gonna say. Names are kind of a problem. You know, clasp, myriad, all very hush-hush. A uh, couple years ago, since some of you look very new in town. Sorry, you can get your leg off the wall now. I'm sufficiently scared of your pink daggers. Yeah, they're iridescent. <laughs> Lovely. But those of you in the know would know that the clasp and the myriad are two very big Parties interested in the well-being and uh, progress of the city. And they came to blows a couple years ago, and no one really knows who won. And we are the ones that are left, but we know better than to use names. Wait, so, so there was a fight, but nobody knows who won? Yeah. Which nobody knows side? who won? Oh my god. Which side are you on? Sweetie, I'm on my own side. But if you need a name, you can call me Posca. Posca? Mm. Hi, I'm Fern. Hi. <clears throat> so, we were looking at this as one of several properties to hit to deal with the gentrifying forces in the upper slums, but I'm more than happy to tell my associates to leave you be, but what will you do for me in return? Uh, I mean... Not bring you to the city guard right now? Hmm. You're not gonna do that. We're not? No. We might. We'll do it. Maybe. City guards! My voice carries. <laughs> <laughs> that... <laughs> She means business. <laughs> yeah! yeah. When she yells things, um, I hope this is the thing that appear. shows up finally. <laughs> <laughs> there like is it a 10% chance <laughs> it might. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me a performance check. Let's see how much that voice carries. 19. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you hear with, within just a few seconds, like the clanking of armor as a group of guards like turn down the corner and they're like on the far end of the street. Do you continue to hail them? City guards, sit. Oh wait, do we want, do we want them to come? Or sure. do we want them to come? Why not? We're just having a conversation. Uh, she begins to like back away and she's getting closer to you. Yeah. But away from the main group. Um, We're still talking, right? Look, do you want to talk with a bunch of guards? You seem a little cooler than that. All right, all right. Get rid of the guards and we'll have a conversation. Oh, I ne promise. Never mind. It was just pee I found on a stick. <laughs> on a sword, a spear. It's not true. I cleaned it. The guards are just kind of. They're going to continue to walk down. I take a couple of steps you. back into the alley, further into shadow, and I keep the blade up and pointed up at her so she can see that I'm barring the way. She uh, stands really stiffly as the guards come over and they look over at you. I'm, do you need something? Oh, one second. Do we need something? What? Do we need something? No, I don't think so. Thank you, it's such a nice morning. We don't need anything. Uh, God's about, as you were. And uh, there's like an awkward like two minutes where the guards kind of are looking at you all and looking for like a secret signal, like, do you need assistance? What's going on? <clears throat> and they wait. And if no one does anything, they eventually kind of roll their eyes and get bored and continue down the street. And you can see that the entire time Posca is just sweating and trying to hold it together. You're sweating. Yeah. 
That made you very nervous. We could do it again. Cause I'm a, cr I'm a crip. You're yeah. What, what is your deal? What do you want? Why don't we continue this conversation inside? You go first, because I don't like walking through thresholds that just had magical writing put on them. Good point. It's just writing. And uh, yeah, she's gonna go, she looks over her shoulder to see if uh, Orem is still there. He's still there being a creep. Mm -hmm. oh, not like him, he's little and green and mean. I'm gonna nod my, I'm gonna nod my head toward Orem as if to like signal for him to Usher her into the house, off the street. I will uh, walk forward five or 10 steps and then uh, holster the blade as I get out into the thoroughfare. And uh, you see her flick out like a very tiny, like two inch blade as she walks past uh, that little bit of illusory script and you see her like cut through it and it dispels like what little magic is. <laughs> Remaining there, and now you just see like a crossed out weird jumble of symbols hmm. as she goes inside. Did you want to try to intervene and stop her? Um, no. Okay. No, she just cut me off to doing something I wanted to do, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And she goes inside. Smart lady is smart. Kind of mm -hmm. looks around and then goes and takes a seat like in the corner near the fireplace. So, let's talk. Okay, so you're describing two criminal organizations. The remnant of the turf war between the married and the class, yes. Yeah, yeah I, I'm vaguely familiar. I'm sorry, um, go ahead. I've got time. And you're a third party? Mm, nameless. Nameless. Looking to uh, pick up the pieces and carry on? Mm. With, let me be very clear, the city's best interests at heart for the most part. Sure. Cares when people hurt the rich. Why are you targeting Lothor's home? Just because he's rich? Because he bought property in an area that's been, belonged to the people. And this is a weird thing that all of those people up at the cloud top that were too chicken shit to move back there after Thordak attacked, what, 30 years ago, and now they're buying up property down here, changing the infrastructure of a once lucrative area. So mm. we figured a couple targeted uh, breaking and entering would dissuade them from their little sojourn out to the sticks. And what was this place before uh, the family bought it up? Just a neighborhood with normal people. You can make an insight check. Yeah, is she, uh, is she lying? She could be, I wouldn't know. Uh, that is an eight. You can tell that she is telling the truth, but she is holding something, a little bit of something back, but. Shocking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are we doing, gang? Did they kick people out? To live here? Oh, you knew. Yes. yes. That's what that's what they do. Oh. They buy up the property, kick out the people that lived here before, and by virtue of their aura, bring in things like increased guards. Mm. Oversight. Mm. Mm. You don't like guards. No, sweetie, I'm a criminal. Oh, you're a criminal! Yeah! Yeah, I'm a thief. I've never met a criminal before. Oh, oh my God, that's so nice. This is very nice. This is very exciting stuff. Yay, hi. Okay, I have questions, but I'm not gonna, get, you guys no, go ahead. No, no, you guys go ahead. Okay, just yes. go ahead. Cool. I mean, I'm, if I'm gonna be honest here, like I'm not a huge fan of the way, uh, the way this town is guarded, more or less. I mean, there's, Thank you. I've been here for a while. There's facets of corruption through it. A lot of them are just dick holes anyway. And you know, I've, 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 Done some jobs adjacent, out of necessity, and honestly, out of just it sounding really fucking cool, and I wanted to do it, and it was really cool. Crime is cool. So you know, I I get where you're coming from. I just I don't know. We, like we, Lothar's, he's been kind of nice to us, and I don't know. It feels bad to like write on his door. It's true, and correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't Lothar's family provide? 
protection for everyone here? They pay the guards, don't they? Oh, oh my god. Hold on. Uh, and she gets really close to you and kind of turns her head slowly and then gives a little... <laughs> no, your money. That's the thing. <laughs> you think that money brings good things. Gods can be paid off. Oversight benefits the rich and not everyone else that they're stepping over. Look outside right now. You see half of the shops are closed. They were bought out. Maybe there'll be something. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just be hoarded by people with too much gold and too much time. Hmm. Honestly, I'm doing the neighborhood a favor. By committing crime? Yes. Do you want to see crimes with me? Oh. Kinda. I wouldn't. Let's what? do this one. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't, but uh I've just met you, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Once. Mm. The city is a complicated place, I hear. Mm. So for us to not turn you in, mm. and for us to not fuck you up, what can you give us? And she kind of gives a little look around the house and it's disheveled. She can like peek back into the kitchen and see bowls strewn and like empty cupboards. And I'm not interested in money uh. at all. I'm talking about information or you seem to have a philosophy in life. Uh -huh. Give you a chance to prove it to us. Maybe like a really cool hat. Yeah. Information and a very nice hat. Um, the coat, the coat's nice too. Do you want? Your duster's gift. You want my jacket? No, I just want to know where you got Let's it. Let's start with yeah, the hat. We can, we can work our way okay. up, you know, just... Okay. It's a she negotiation. Said, I, I don't think she meant mug her right now. <clears throat> oh. I am very excited that you think that you would win in a fight with me. That's... Here's what I know. I'm from a small town, but if somebody moved into my house, kicked me out, Mm. Kicked my whole family out mm -hmm. and was like, you can't live here anymore. And then set guards in front of the house that I lived in. I'd be really mad. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the same thing, actually. I don't think anybody should be kicked out of their home. No. You're new here and you could use a bit of a connection, a network. Keep yourselves afloat. Yeah. It's a good story. So far, all I know is it's a story. Okay. Well... How about this? If you all do me a little favor, I will keep the Seer Respect properties off of our lists. I'll provide you with any information you need. A bit of spending money, a hat, and the name of my tailor. I mean, it's good to have friends. I, I won't. <laughs> Would you give us a moment? Oh, sure. Do you want me to wait in here? Sure. And she just like sinks back into the chair and gets really comfortable. <laughs> I want to bring everybody in for a close for a huddle up out of her, out of her earshot if I can. So what are we talking about here? We see someone defacing our house and she asks us to join her for what? Information and a hat? What are we doing? Our house. I think she's just vamping, to be honest. I'm not really comfortable with this. Um, but I also have heard a lot about this city and, and, and its uh, sort of maze-like infrastructure. I mean, I, you know, I know a lot of things, but I do know that I got really uncomfortable around Lothar's family. Lothar seems all right, you know? He's young, he's come up in money, he's just kind of doing his thing, but... His family was quite strange. Yeah, and the problem with young kids with money is they eventually become Old older kids folk with money. with money, and that never ends well. <clears throat> Wait, why did... Uh, she sniffed you and said that... Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's your money, which is ridiculous. You're you're like a blue person. Yeah, I don't yeah. smell any money on you. Thank, thank, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, just a humble bard, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Um, I don't. I, you know what? This whole thing makes me uncomfortable. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever, whatever you guys decide. I, I, I don't want to. I think we should just meet some of her like people she works with. That fun, fun adventure. More people. More context. More hats. We probably have this, like some mutual friends too. You know, I've been, I've, I've I've done a few, maybe not so uh, top of the board things. Your old boy here, Dariax, might be a, a well seasoned criminal. Wow! Inside check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, persuasion or deception. Nineteen. Natural twenty plus five. Oh, oh shit! Go! Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, I have three of a kind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. Like, it's really fun. Being a criminal. Hmm. Well, <sighs> crime is really in the eye of the beholder. Is that another one like time is a weird soup? Yes. Okay. I've heard of that mm. one, yeah. I'm with Aurum. This whole thing makes me uncomfortable, but if it's something the group decides, I'll support it. I just don't want to hurt Lothor. And if we're going to get information out of her, I want it to be something good. She's offering us information. Maybe she knows something about the Ashari? Maybe. Well, maybe we just see where this goes. I'll go along. Probably not for the same reasons, but. Same. And I'll break the huddle. See? <clears throat> He's just kind of staring at you all expectantly. And I'll motion for the, the master negotiator and career criminal to take the lead. Dariax kind of takes his spear, and he's been using this kind of a walking stick most of the morning, and just sets it across, leaning against the wall, cracks his knuckles. So, um, Bosca. Me and my little band here are friends, allies, family are, uh, we're interested in what you're packing. I think we can. Uh, I think we can come to some sort of an arrangement. And he speaks for you all. And she gives a very like pointed look at Aura, who seems the least bought in. Well, I like everything to be on the table first. What are we talking about? Mm. That doesn't answer my question. Does I'll tell you what. You? I'll sign on. Mm as long as you come with. Persuasion check. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! And she gives you a nice long look and says, look, you're cute, and I, I feel like the beginning of a vibe, but no, <laughs> no. This is for you to prove yourselves. And all you have to do, and she pulls a coin out of like a little flap in her shirt and flicks it towards you. It hits too. my head. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like mid speech, she just goes, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Well, all right, you're going to get killed, so I'm not super bothered about this anymore. <laughs> Keep that, don't drop it. I didn't drop it, you threw it. And you, your aim's a little off. Anyway, no, I won't be going with you, but I will happily wait here for you and make sure that nothing happens to your digs in the interim. But any given day in the docks of Amon, there are a dozen ships from Marquette, merchant vessels, and they've got lots of lovely little trinkets and sometimes the dock masters lose them, sometimes they just didn't make the crossing. I need you to find me something nice, something worth all of this, and you're going to drop it off in my warehouse. 
And if it's nice enough, I'll give you a cut when I fence it. Seem fair? You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. I don't even care where it comes from. The docks were just a suggestion. You have very nice boots. What do you need? The da- the dagger is in my boot. Yeah. I just want you to know we are armed. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, I am also armed. Yeah, but you got two daggers. <laughs> I think what our friend is trying to say is that Don't if- fuck us. No, hold on. <laughs> You've lit- I- Yeah, I have at least two daggers on me. Damn it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that to like dissuade you. It was a really, it's a cool power move. You have very nice boots. So go ahead. No, it's it's fine. What um, what qualifies as something nice? Oh, gold, silks, magical items, art, mm. anything worth a price, anything sellable on the black market. And we're doing that so that you don't loot this house. Mm-hmm. But we could. We could have just turned you in. Why are we doing stuff for you? You should be doing stuff for us. Yeah, I understand. Because it's fun. Oh, oh. But, and you'll make money, and friends, and you're new here, so you you want the kind of friends I have, I promise. Do they go to taverns a lot? The best. Okay, I'm kind of in. That's two? Three, including the little monkey, seems very excited. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have to come. Mm-mm. That's not true. <laughs> he does have to come because wherever I go, there he actually comes with me. Okay. <sighs> Blue boy, you in? <clears throat> sure. Mm. Leaves you. Okay. If you do a good job, I'll take you out for a drink after. Sound good? No. Oh, don't worry, I grow on people. Put that to the test. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go upstairs, have a little nap, and let me know when my bright new shinies are in my warehouse. Sound good? Uh, you're going to want to head to Darkwater Street. It's the one warehouse that refuses the light. We love a little mystery here. Okay, goodbye. And she just walks upstairs and like closes a door and you hear her like scooching furniture in front of it to barricade herself in. Expertly done. <laughs> okay, so we go to the docks to try to find her some bright and shinies. Lorem, why are you hesitant? Because uh, I'm not a thief. Hmm. Well, what? we can do the stealing. Yeah, you can just stand outside. It'll be all right, Lorem. I'm just trying to square up where she started the conversation and where she ended it. Yeah. The beginning was Robin Hood, and by the end of it, it was rob these foreign merchants. So, um... That is a little weird, actually, now that you point it out. I'm happy to be involved, but I would, uh... like to propose that we bring the, uh... city guard into it. You mean while she's... Up there, we go out and call them in? Well, here's the thing. What if we go talk to uh, these people at the Dark Water Street that she was talking about, and what if they're like big assholes? Yeah. Would you feel better about it then? Not really, no. Man, I can't get a read on you. <laughs> I just don't like fucking people over, Dariax. This entire world is built on it. I've spent my whole life getting fucked over. If you don't start fucking people over, you're not gonna survive, buddy. I know you're, I know you're from some highfalutin mountain town you've been talking about, you know, but like, I'll I do know them that on, you are man. wrong. I know that there's more in this world. 
I know the temptation and corruption and imperfection is rampant in this world, but that's not all there is. Not Satan, that's all there is. But it's it's uh it's un it's unavoidable to a certain extent. You don't have to be a bad person to do bad things if it's hurting other bad people. It's She's not asking us to find something specific. She's not telling us to do this to hurt someone else. She just wants us to steal for her. Just to show that we're in. That we're not gonna go call the guard on her. <clears throat> She's right about everything she said about this city. Who? Don't worry about it. We're not gonna make you do anything that you really don't feel uncomfortable with. That's all of this. Oh shit, um. We could, um. We could go buy something nice. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Give that to her if that makes you feel a little bit more comfortable with, with being a criminal. <clears throat> I'd like to try to find out more about who she works for. Which we can probably do by asking around now that we have a name. I got some old friends who can maybe stop by and see if they got some information. If I can find them. You know, this is information gathering. Yeah, I, I like this plan. Thank you. We just, we go there, we just do some, some simple recon. snooping, recon, and just maybe figure out who she is, and then maybe we'll see what happens from there. Look, I speak for all of us, and that's a big responsibility. I wouldn't put that upon you if I didn't care about you. Oh. You met me a week ago, and we don't remember six of those seven days. <laughs> that's most of my friendships, though, so it's not a big deal to me. Well, I'll tell you what. I can hang for a day or two. We'll reassess after that. Works for me. All right. We're the same height-ish. Yeah, I'm a little, a little tall. <laughs> <laughs> and on that shake, uh, the camera sort of pushes through the window. The skies have gotten much darker and the rain falls heavier. And on that, we will take our break. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a few. Hang in there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, critters, Laura Bailey here. Let's see what's up in the critical role shot. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. I mean, the traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. You're only like five clicks away from owning this, maybe more if you have a lot of windows open on your browser. I don't know your life. The cuteness, it's overpowering. I mean, seriously, look at this thing. So click on over to the Critical Role shop. <laughs> don't worry, there's a few more minutes in the break. You still got time. There's something about Phil Barassa that's incredibly contagious. He's an amazing artist, he's an amazing designer. He's a genius. He's just been knocking out of the park over and over again. With his designs, it just solidified the characters in our heads on the page. He's that good and he's that confident. I love drawing this stuff. We at Critical Role have been blessed with having uh, our characters drawn by amateur and professional artists in the Critter community for years. I've seen hundreds of versions of Scanlan Shorthalt. There's been such a broad spectrum drawn, but when I found out that Phil Barassa was going to be our official character designer for The Legend of Vox Machina, it was like a great weight had been taken off my shoulders. I'm a huge fan of Phil Barassa's. I have been for many, many years. All of his work on the on the DC films, I saw his style and I, I connected with it in such an acute way. 
He has such a fantastic eye. I met Travis before I knew about Critical Role. He was playing one of the heavies in a Batman movie I did all the character design for. I didn't talk to him after that for a few years. The next time we ran into each other, my wife and I were taking an early flight out of LAX to go to JFK for New York Comic Con in 2018. As the fates would have it, when Laura and I sat down, I hear this, Travis? And I look to my left and across the aisle is Phil Barassa just sitting right there. And just in that moment, lightning bolt to the head, I was like, we got this animated series that we're, we're developing. Travis was like, would you be down to take a pass at these characters? And I was like, hell yeah. Just something clicked for me drawing this stuff. I'm just shy of 20 years now doing this. And I spent the last 11 consecutive years doing superheroes. If I'm known for anything, it's for the work that I did on the DC superheroes at Warner Bros. Animation. But fantasy is my first love. Phil is so amazing, and he's worked on a lot of the superhero stuff that Travis and I have done in the past, and uh, his designs are phenomenal. So the fact that he came on board was a huge jump in excitement level for me. I mean, the excitement was hard to contain. So many of us were fans of his work from what he'd done with WB. I'm a huge Batman girl and a love all of that. I knew Phil's work before I knew that it was Phil's work. I've seen his animation before, and his character designs are gorgeous. His design work is immaculate. His creativity is brilliant. When I heard that Phil was going to be on the project, I was like, yes, they've got it. This is great. He's perfect. Phil is pretty much a legend in the animation industry out here, and the idea that he would be coming on to the project with us, I don't think I even believed it at first. My reaction to Phil Barrasso was like, no fucking way. <laughs> there was something about the project that spoke to me on a deeper personal level that I was willing to take the chance on working with a completely new creative team. Critical Role presented this opportunity to be at the ground floor of something relatively new and fresh. And even though the lore was clearly well-defined and the characters were well-defined, there was so much to explore on a visual level. Normally when I'm creating a design, it comes from the written word or a comic book or, or even just the writer's script. These characters come from the imagination and the heart and the soul of the voice actors, the cast members who are the creators and founders, right? So they were very involved. We all had, I had a lot of input. I mean, I gave notes on the feathers, I gave notes on the hair, I gave notes about how much she wants to use her feminine wiles, so you know, I didn't want her to be too brazen. So much was determined by the performances, what the creators had imbued in their creations, the way Laura's performance informs the way that I draw the character. She's got to have some sass. She's got to have some attitude. Whereas Keyleth has this charming naivete, like an innocent aspect. Every time we pull up an image or a turnaround of Keyleth, everyone in the room is just like, oh, oh she's so cute. She's just, she's just a little button. And I think because Keyleth has this fresh look at the world, we really wanted to reflect that in her character design. Even his first designs and his first stab at Scanlan was kind of perfect. I don't think we changed that much. We were just nitpicking on collar size and hair shape. Everything else, like Phil's first takes, are everybody else's 10th take. The first stuff I saw of Grog, the frame is right, the expressions were right, and he just gets the bearing of the guy because it's so easy to make a hulking figure look intimidating. But Grog has to be able to convey both the rage and the fury of a strong jaw, but also like the warmth and the gentle nature of Grog. He's kind of the Hulk, but he's kind of not. There's a cuteness to Grog too. So there were things that we played with, like the size of his ears. Phil did such a good job with just the nuance of each of the characters' personalities coming through. Pike's 
hair color to the color of her armor and the little scrapes on her armor, and he just took it to the next level. They've created these original characters, but they're they're also very archetypal. Like Percy and Vax are dexterity builds, so they're very lithe and long to kind of bring out to show the, the agility and the dexterity inherent in the class. Percival is a character that Phil grasped so quickly and understood how everything was supposed to lie, especially when standing with everybody else, has a very unique look and a unique vibe. Phil's excellent at what he does, and both with Vax and with, it, with all these characters, he has come in, landed pretty close to the target already, and then you know, we're able to sort of shoot ideas back and forth, and then the next week, it's there. It's been really cool working with him to kind of take these characters that don't just live in my brain, but each one of them has a part of me in them, and then have them come back even prettier than I could have ever hoped for. Watching him dive into this fantasy scape, Phil's just flexing. He's having a blast. Phil's had tons of leeway to just create kind of whatever his mind can dream up. Something that's really important about this, this animated series is we wanted it to be definitely and distinctly an adult series. It's for grown-ups. So we wanted to make sure that the world, the background, the atmosphere, and the character designs both sort of read as sophisticated, mature. We definitely want to make sure that this show feels unique. And I think Phil was well aware of that and totally down to just try anything and throw ideas at the wall and see what's stuck. Phil's designs capture the kineticism and, and flow of the best that Japanese animation has to offer while feeling uniquely Western and uniquely, uh, honestly, uniquely themselves. Phil's stuff definitely leans way more in the anime direction. And anime itself is kind of like part of the DNA of Titmouse's look and culture. All of us here watch a shit ton of anime, so he almost was a perfect fit in the sense that he's looking at the same exact kind of stuff and incorporating that into his designs. He just came to this with a vigor and an excitement that we couldn't help but be excited alongside it. There almost couldn't be a better match as far as Western character designers than Phil. We are pouring every ounce of passion and love and creativity that we have at our disposal into trying to bring this world to life. Watching Phil dive into this world, you kind of got the sense of an athlete sort of stretching. He's really just starting to break out of anything that he's done before. It's only limited by what your imagination can envision, and for Phil, there is uh, no shortage of that. I really have not experienced anything this good <laughs> in animation. I'm hoping we can do a lot of seasons of this show. I think we're only really getting started with him. He's blown us out of the water with everything that we have in season one. God's help us for what's in store in season two.
and we come back up uh, with the five of you uh, reasonably headed out the door into the rain. Where are you headed? What do you want to do? To what's it street? Dark water? Dark, Dark, water. Dark water. Dark water. Dank water. <laughs> Dank water is a slightly different street. Dank water street. We can go there after. Yeah, please. Yeah, it's cool as it's shit, real though. fun. <laughs> <laughs> so you make your way across town and eventually arrive uh, in like the port area and along these like long rows of just massive like cobblestone warehouses and rickety streets with like big carts and litters going back and forth transporting goods. You make your way to Darkwater Street and you see people kind of avoiding the rain and kind of just, everything just looks shadier right now because it's dark and people are trying to stay uh, covered from the elements and from the weather. So it all has a very sinister air to it, but it's just a bunch of people at work on a day like any other day for them. What do you want to do? Smells fishy. It does. Hmm. I love it. And salt water. Uh, Mister's gonna lean down and you like keep sniffing the air and then kind of sniffs the ground and the ground's just sort of like, got that like permanent wet, like reflective thing. He just gives a big lick to one of the cobblestones. Oh. Salty. Wait, there's wa water? Like a body of water? You guys are right next to the Osmet Sea. Osmet Sea. Can I? have a check about Opal? What do you- Has she ever seen water before? Are you asking, I don't know, you care? I don't feel like, <laughs> bitch, I feel like she hasn't. I feel like she hasn't. Well, Byrodin is landlocked, right? Landlocked, this is her first time <gasps> yeah. seeing the ocean. <gasps> so yeah, let's say that like, as you guys were kind of coming down the hill and getting down to sea level, you were able to see this big, beautiful, sparkling, dark blue ocean under a gray sky. And like, even with the rain, it is still massive and majestic. And you know, you can't see out as far as you could on a clear day, but you are just sort of faced with how massive the world really is. <gasps> wow. I come up and I, I grab Opal's hand. Isn't it so lovely? It's majestic. I know. But it stinks. I know. <gasps> wow. <gasps> Mister's gonna go to the other side and grab your other hand. Who is? Mister. Yeah. Hi. It's very exciting. <laughs> Hi, Ocean. And you see a bunch of like ships coming in and out of the dock. And as you actually like look down into the harbor, you see that there's easily a hundred ships in both like the near port and the deep water port a little a little farther. Smells better once you get further out. But we're not going further out, are we? Uh, no, we're jacking something She takes up. off. Runs down. <laughs> Sweet. Mr. I does not like- I take fur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mr. just screaming beside you like, ah! <laughs> and are they sort of running toward the end of the dock? Is that where they're going? Uh, I kind of imagine it just like running down the hill and just Building up steam, and you're gonna pass like like the like four or five streets of warehouses, and just hit like stanky ass harbor. I don't know when you want to stop. Mister will not stop you. Let me be very clear. Okay. He's a ride or die. Maybe we'll just maybe maybe we'll just kind of do like a right before the dock ends. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> give me a give me an acrobatics oh, check. Oh boy. Just to hit those brakes. We'll see if you do a cartoon bloop into the ocean. Uh, that is a nineteen. Yeah, you're fine. But I kind of wish it wasn't, because I do want to do a boop into the ocean. <laughs> Mister, yeah. you actually have to catch Mister, because he was just going to go. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like pulling against you, like, ah! <laughs> I want to do it too. So uh, we'll catch up with her. Yeah. And then take a look at the ships around us in the dock, I guess. Yeah. Uh, are you looking for anything in particular? It. For what it's worth, you do see that there are ships of like all types. You see kind of... The bulk of them are ones that are uh, like <laughs> natural to Taldore, but you also see like the like sort of golden colored like clipper ships that are Marquesian. Uh, you see like one big scary like dark water boat uh, that sort of stands out away from everything else that looks like it's probably from uh, either Wildmount or just somewhere farther away. Most of them are Marquesian. Most of them are like merchant vessels. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. What do we what do we th- what do we think? Are you trying to case? Like you want to give me a case roll? I don't. You becoming a criminal? I'm not becoming a criminal. I am babysitting. All right. are, are, so we're just watching ships. Have any of them docked? Are there any people coming off the ships? Yeah, there's people like moving stuff on and off of ships all the time. Like you're immediately lost in the flux of in people just, like, so many who people. are just in their job and they're like miserable in the rain. Right. right so right. you are extra under the radar. I feel even like in your pink. I would just want to talk to everybody. But like, where did you come from? Where did you come from? How long were you out there? You turn to a person and he responds to you. What languages do you speak? I speak common and elvish. Oh, yeah. Uh, this person turns to you and it's like a massive, like, red dragonborn. Huh. And just starts speaking to you in this, like, low, guttural, like, rumble that you can feel in your chest. <gasps> and he's got a perfectly, like, normal face and is responding. Like, there's no, like, a hint of malice, but you just hear, like, rah, 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 rah. Thank you. Anybody get that? Hmm. I, I, I don't think I did. I don't know. Does anyone speak Draconic? No. No. Sweet. So is this like a is this like a merchant port? Like, are we yes. sensing that every, these ships are are most likely being loaded and, and unloaded yes. with with Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely. Then uh, I'll, I'm gonna dress Orm primarily in the group and say, um, well, we could sneak aboard a ship. See what they have. We could ask for a tour. Ask for a tour, sure. We could also just ask around. Didn't we talk about finding out more information about Pasca? Mm-hmm. Anyone know Pasca? I, uh, I would say probably not be throwing that name around oh, here. Oh, okay. I need everyone to make a perception check. <laughs> Did anyone, get high, did anyone get higher than 18? No. 16. 13. Mm-mm. Unbeknownst to you, but the camera catches as one person looks over in Opal's direction and slinks into the crowd, almost disappearing immediately, and moves away. You don't oh. catch it in the flow of everything happening. But that off our radar. Yep. Okay. No, you're right, you're right. Some I'm things sorry. are just for the audio. Mm-hmm. Sorry for that. It's fine. I, this, there's a, a kind of finesse yes. when it comes to talking with people yes. that deal in the same spaces that we now do. I, uh, yep. Can you show us some finesse? Well, <laughs> I hope I maybe. Um, uh, well, well you, you, look, Orm, you, you're the one who has sort of the... Um, uh, Plan? Morals. I think is is the word. Sure. Yeah. Is there a particular ship here that you feel might be, I don't know, you feel less guilty about casing? <laughs> <laughs> this is your bag, man. Um, I'm along for the ride and to learn. Oh, all right. Eeny, meeny, miny. Wait, baby. why don't we look for, like, someone who looks like You know, like red cape, blue hair. You keep an eye out for that. Okay. If you see someone like that, let us know. All right. That's not a bad deal. Okay. Give me an investigation check for a thing one or thing two. <laughs> <laughs> Did I remember that it was a blue hair? Yeah, yeah you're right. Natural twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so you're scanning, and you don't see anyone like. In that spit, like you don't see Pasca or someone that looks like her, or even someone in that outfit that wasn't a uniform. Do but, I see like the so- symbol anywhere? But you do. You see at like random little bits of the dock, every now and z- every now and again, you can see like that etched in the hand clasping the scar, uh, the star, and sometimes it's really rudimentary, but you're learning to pick it up. <gasps> What, what happened? Look. Did you draw that? No. That looks just like. I didn't draw it. I oh. found, I scoped it out. That's what etched on the door. Oh. Keep it cool, it, keep it cool. Keep it cool. Is it on the, it's on the dock? It's on the dock. You actually see it on like a big like post that leads towards dock four that's got a couple Marquesian uh, ships and that big, heavy, dark ship that you saw. Dorian, you you got any paper? Ah, uh, paper, paper, paper. Like one sheet, half a sheet, ah, uh, scrap. 
Yeah, and I reach into my pocket, and I do. I have a, I have a little piece of parchment. It's kind of crumpled up, and I hand it over to him. Um, I um, I uh, let me see. <laughs> I pick up some. Uh, I rub my hand in some dirt mm-hmm. and grime on the docks, and then I. I Will you stand in front of me for a second? Yes, I can. I just kind of floof my <laughs> cape and my dress, hiding in behind out. me. You're throwing out like an area of effect where now like sailors and stuff are like looking over at you and like pointing and like a couple like wave. Ooh. And they just kind of go around. They're not bothering you, but I put you're the, I push the parchment against that spot. Mm. Yeah. And then I just smash and rub the dirt all over it and then brush it away to try to get a sort of a rubbing of the symbol. Yeah, no roll required, absolutely. Okay. And you see, uh, now that Opal's pointed it out, you can actually see a couple different places like on the dock where rough shapes like that are. So you got like the cleanest, most deeply etched one. Okay. Are they are they uh, on a specific slot, a slip in the dock where like these prints are? It seems to signal like this dock specifically. Ah. Where, where this one boat is, this one slip of the whole dock. Uh, there's three ships here. Uh, I guess what's, what's the question I'm asking? Are the symbols uh, look like they're lining up with one ship? One No, one not slip? one ship specifically, they're, just this little bo- area. A whole dock. Yeah, this little okay. dock. Yeah, so the question is, does that mean that these are targets or these are property of, I don't know. That's what I was thinking. If Posca drew that symbol on Lothor's house, and they were going to hit it. It's gotta be a target. These are targets. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. I didn't think of that. Me neither. I was just gonna ask if we could have a tour. I'm curious Still about about the ooh, bacon lips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious about the large ship. Ooh, it's still happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's very strangely hard to say for some reason. <laughs> Um, I'm curious about this large ship. It just looks so imposing. Do you want to make an investigation check and try to? I do. Yeah, go for it. Um, can I look for the name or just any any little bits? Of, yeah, of absolutely. Oh, what's my investigation? Oh, it's a ten. It's okay. <laughs> the things you get for free because. It's a boat and it's got a name on it. Yeah. Okay. This is a big dark ship. Uh, On like its sort of prow, you see the words uh, "The Blight Star." Uh, It's got this really dark, almost like burnt-looking wood that makes up the whole thing. Mm. And above its black sails, you see a little flag that is a black field with a big white, like semicircle, and below the arc of that, like a little red circle. Hmm. You instinctively look down at your arm. Uh, Ruidus? Both moons? This looks like a rough approximate, like the ship is named after Ruidus, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Is that your ship? <laughs> <laughs> Two very different things. What, what, is, what does that mean? Well, it's the moon. It's the moon. It's a coincidence. You've been outside when it's night. There's two moons here. There's two moons. Yeah. Wait, but the flag, do you know what this ship is? Uh, I don't, do I have any? Give me a history check. You are extremely far traveled. 17. Ooh. This ship is absolutely from Asilra. A dark place, a a wild place, not known for like trade and like big ports. So it's strange that it would be here in this like merchant section. Um, I mean, I I, I don't know much, but from, it's probably the sketchiest ship in the harbor. (sighs) Shall we try to sneak aboard? All right, well, I can't believe this. I have an idea. 
You four, get down low, get near the docking area, and I'm going to try and create a distraction. They seem to really like Fern, too. The sailors seem to really like... Maybe you could do a little duet. Yeah. Mm. Sure. Do you want to distract over there and I'll distract over here and these three can go inside? How do you feel about that, Orem? Gotta make sure you guys are okay. Dorian, can you just give me, I'm gonna call this an insight check Mm -hmm. to get the sort of emotional, like, timber of the place Hmm. that you're standing. Six. Cool. (laughs) (laughs) You are planning this distraction and you see that like, you guys aren't standing off to the side at all. You're kind of in the middle of it and people, dozens, 50, 100 people have moved past you in the course of this conversation. That like, just as a little, if you are relatively uh, stealthy, you will simply go unnoticed. It was only when uh, Fern like started floofing herself out and trying to draw attention, that attention was drawn. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna reconsider my idea after having noticed that and just say, (laughs) We don't need one at all. Stick together. Pretend to be part of the crew. We can be tourists. Stick together, birds of a feather. Another That's saying? Another one. Yeah. Chowder <laughs> yeah. All right, well, act like we're supposed to be here. <clears throat> I'm gonna t- grab, just look around and grab like, uh, like an empty, like an empty shitty looking crate and pick it up. <laughs> And just walk onto the ship with it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some like dirt on the side of one of the uh, one of the dockside wood pieces and just kind of rub it on my face and just go ah, <laughs> and follow in after. Terrible. This I uh-huh. know what your character art looks like. You look like a blue member of the Justice League, dude. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why I'm be carrying the box. <laughs> <laughs> I am just a crew member. <laughs> no, I'm gonna need a. Uh, Performance checks with disadvantage from the two of you. Wow. What are the other three of you doing? Oh, well, I feel like Opal's just too. She's never seen a ship. She's <clears throat> never been on a ship. She, there is no like logic or good decision making happening. I think she's just like about to just walk on until somebody, unless someone stops her <laughs> from doing it. So you're just gonna, you just, just go and walk just on. Just rocking up. Okay. Uh, persuasion check. What are you two doing? I'm gonna try to carry more stuff <coughs> than would make me visible behind it. That's <laughs> actually kind of amazing. Um, I'm going to. Um, I I'm I'm going to. Are there any? Is there any food around? Like a basket of food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> it works sometimes. Make a f- investigation check for me, and or um, I need an athletics check to see if you can lift up enough stuff oh to dear. be like unseen behind it. Okay. My team strength is not my strong suit. Persuasion was eighteen. Oh, that's cocked. Hold on. Oh, I was almost nineteen though. Okay. <laughs> Seventeen. Okay. Yeah, you are. You're unseen, and for what? Every reason you see like an open crate with a bunch of like produce. Okay, I'll grab that. Oh, I'm so excited to cook on this ship. I got <laughs> hired to <laughs> cook. I love cooking. I can't wait to take care of the sailors. I hate it so much. Okay. Um, <laughs> per- performance with advantage because you found food. Oh, that's cocked. Oh, it's okay, that thing's like. Those were both cocked, by the way. Right. With advantage, okay. Oof. Oh, much better. Okay, now that everyone's made yes. a roll, did anyone get below a 10? Nope. Oh. Oh, oh you idiot. Thank you. <laughs> and shit. Uh, as you just are made rubbing shit on your face. <laughs> God, nice you're today. clean. <laughs> you were clean for like five seconds. Five good seconds. <laughs> uh, an elven man kind of looks over at you and is like, what? What are you doing? Oh, um, I'm a, um, a local priest coming to bless this vessel before its next journey. And I kind of hold out the, uh, the, the hanger on my neck, the little compass, be like, hmm. Oh, 
I've been on a ship with him before. <laughs> <laughs> I have an accent now. <clears throat> I'm talking good. He's a real priest. What is this accent? <laughs> I thought it was English, now it's a little southern. Okay. <laughs> There's a giant stack of crates and stuff with legs on the gangplank that just turns around <laughs> and just kind of hovers <laughs> there. Many ships sink into the ocean. The Great Osmit swallows them without the proper journey blessing. And as such, my job is to come and ensure that the proper uh, deific eyes are upon the deck. He's kept us alive. <laughs> Many times I almost died if it wasn't for him. It's a good act. Wait, which, wait, which ship are you going on to? All of them. <laughs> I'm prolific. All right. Well, if you're if you're like a priest, do prove it. Do like a bless me, bless me. Very well. I my gums ahead. bleed a little bit because I didn't eat a lot of fruit. Go ahead and grab my time. holy symbol around my neck and. Uh, Look to my left, dust my shoulder, look to my right, dust my shoulder, pick up the spear like a staff, Wow! give a glance, and I cast Bless on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, he feels like a surge of warmth. As well as the two of us, because I have three targets on him. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, my teeth don't hurt as much anymore. Okay. <laughs> And he just like turns and walks away and he moves off the dock and you see him going down like three docks down to like a completely different ship. <laughs> he had nothing to do with oh. anything happening over here. Oh shit. <sighs> he was just, he was confused by a dude like just actively putting <clears throat> stuff on his face. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys we, can make we it really up fooled to, him. Yeah, you can make it up to the Blight Star uh, unaccosted. <laughs> and you see that there's not anyone on the deck of this ship. Opal does just, just like a little dance. <laughs> she's so happy to be on a ship. <laughs> do you go up and then do the dance? Yeah, she's just like, let the sun shine. <laughs> Amazing. Orem is taking in the vistage of, of, of <laughs> the majestic city of Amman and the bustling port, and Opal just dancing. <laughs> and just thinking, what the fuck? Sir, that is the correct reaction. Mm. Opal, can you make an arcana check for me? Yeah. Oof, that's a four. You're good, keep vibing. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anybody, there's nobody on board? You don't see anyone on like the deck of the ship. There might be people below decks, but you don't, you didn't, as you were kind of walking up, keeping an eye out on this, you didn't see anyone going up or down it. Nothing's been moved. Every, like, all the doors and stuff look shut. Like, it is a sealed vessel. I know boats. <laughs> <laughs> For a second, I was like, what's a deck? That's the upper part, right? <laughs> <laughs> the flat the part flat on the part. tower you dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. So we're, we're all on the, the deck right now? Huh. You're all on the deck. Okay. Unless you don't want to be on the deck. Well, let's go ahead and maybe uh, carefully peer down below, see if we can find something to uh, pilfer. I'm no. Sailor, but don't ships usually have a crew? Where is everyone? <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> Not gonna yell for the crew. <laughs> You're learning. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> um. I can't be the only one who finds this a little odd. I'm not gonna lie. I've never maybe, been on a ship either, so this is all new to me. Maybe they went to get lunch. Lunch break? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I think we should assume there's somebody down below. There's go gotta be. Quietly. Yeah, let's go quietly. Anyone wanna do like a preliminary investigation before you just like rock on yeah. below deck? Uh, I'm small. Uh -huh. My, I'm gonna... my investigation is not great. It's just, it's... If you want it to be something other than investigation, just give me, like break me off a flavor of like what you're trying to do. Maybe, can Opal put an ear to the ground? See if she hears Perception. anything? Into the wood. Into the wood? Boom, boom. Twi natural 20, that's the star. Yeah. Let's go. That's the star, baby. Listen to the wood. The that's the one, that's the good. It's golden <laughs> snitch. You listen down below the decks and you hear like the scrabbling of small animals. Oh. There might be mice. Yeah. And you hear a steady dripping 
coming from below deck, but you don't hear any like humanoid sized movement. Okay, there's definitely like rats or little critters and maybe a leak, which is not good on a ship. That's real bad, we gotta move quick. No people though are humanoids. <clears throat> Talk to a sailor. Well, if you didn't want to steal from people, there are no people here. That's true. Is there like a boat door nearby? <laughs> Let's see, let's see, check. Like an entrance let's to the hold? Check. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> a boat. A boat. Do the accent again. <laughs> Is there a boat door? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> you turn and look and you see a boat door. <laughs> Travis, this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you actually see uh, you see multiple like captains' quarters on the top, and then you see like doors that would swing up so you could head down into the hold hull. Oh no, boat! Right, hold on a second. I have some experience with this. I go ahead and head to the uh, the boat doors, <laughs> <laughs> and I check to see if they're locked. Uh, they are locked. Hi. Pull out my lockpick. Ooh. Ooh. Jingle them for a second in front of you. Drop a couple, put them back. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye out. You're the one with the keen eyes, right? Uh, sure. I keep an I keep an uh, my you know large doe as I'm looking around. <laughs> I put my ears, just very large fur ears, just Perfect. listening in all directions. Beautiful. All right. <sighs> Come on, whatever gods are watching. All right, give me that thief tools check, my my guy. All right. Are you a sneaky cleric? That is... Interesting, you think he's a cleric. What? 16. Uh, it takes a couple minutes of fussing, and then eventually you hear like a little... As it actually breaks through, it feels as though the, rock, uh, the lock was rusty. Oh. And you're able to like get it through and get the doors open. <laughs> I don't know why boat door is the funniest thing I've ever heard. I don't know. There has to be an official term. We just don't know it. Oh, Steriax doesn't know it. Yeah, no, neither do I. Boat Shut open. Up, Matt. <laughs> 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 All right, down we go. Sweet. I feel like Opal trips over that foot thing that's on all the boat doors because she's never been on a boat. <laughs> you know, like the little, you do a little stumble. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why are we all idiots? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, we're pretty. I'm gonna You're quietly take the. Fool. I'm gonna quietly take the lead and go down the descending wood things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom goers. The bottom goers. Yes. Are you trying to be stealthy at all, or are you just? A hundred percent. Then make a stealth check. And I'm and I'm looking for folk for problems. No. Oh my Damn. god. You got two ones. I got two natural twenties. <laughs> <laughs> Your foot alights uh, as you take this first step, and there's no railing, and it punches all the way through, and you drop into oh, the no. hole. As you see, Orem just falls out of sight. No. <laughs> uh, give me an athletics check to catch yourself. Yeah. Huh? Give me an athletics check to like catch yourself. Here. We can give you a cool three-point landing. Please don't roll I'm another one. I'm more of a ballet dancer than okay, a football player. Okay, give me that. Can I use acrobatics? Yeah, okay. Thank I you. like that. <sighs> Eleven. Uh, you kind of go for the three-point stance and you like kind of tap your knee in a way. It kind of stings. <clears throat> oh, kneecap. Yeah. Kneecap. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, just my pride. Do you see anything? Looking my meniscus. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up. It's very strange that you know you should be able to see like a little bit of light from that hole, but the darkness here is heavy. It's oppressive. It's too dark down here. Um. Do you want us to come down there? Yeah, and bring some light. How, how far does it sound like yeah, he is so. when he's yelling down to us? He dropped maybe like 10 feet. 10, oh, ten feet, ten okay, feet. so we can, okay. Yeah. This is, that's a lot for him, but right, yeah, it's double the distance. Without hesitation, I jump in right after him. I want to go. I want to go right. I want to go right to him. All right, I'm acrobatics jump, check. Jump down the hole. A barrel oh. roll to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen. Yeah, you're fine. Sweet. I know, land and uh, feel feel around down <laughs> a little low. See if I can. There we go. Me. Yeah, yeah. 
The glass yeah. pants. I'm here. I think this is not natural. That's uh, when I jumped down. <laughs> oh, no. Acrobatics check. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, athletics or acrobatics, you said? Yeah, whichever. Same. 18. Whoa. Oh, woo. You land with some style. No one sees it. It's dark down here. No, but I cast light on myself as I land. Nice. Now, light is a cantrip, so there's no roll associated. However, I need you to make an arcana check. You got it. Straight dwarven thighs. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was Low pretty, center of gravity. my nickname in high school. Uh, 17. Thighs. Ooh. Yeah, with the DT. 17. The thighs have it. You you all get a, like just a little flash of like dwarven quad. Oh, as the light bursts out, and you feel it more than see it, but the darkness seems to like eat the light up around you until it's just a little dome of whatever you cast it on. I just went ahead and like cast it on the symbol in front of me. Yeah, you. it's like a like a bubble of a foot of light. That makes me extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, like I go from the super confident landing to uh, <laughs> right uh, spear. <laughs> which I left up there. Oh, uh, yes. Should we go in? Uh, sure. Okay. He's top down too? Yeah. All right, athletics or acrobatics, your call. The stair, you could just try to also do the stairs. I. They still exist. We're pretty dumb. Yeah, respect. 20 total. Beautiful. Woo-wee. That's Break me off a piece of that. Okay. What'd you do? I um just walked down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> And you hear like the clip clop of her <laughs> of her fawn like hooves as they kind of slide across the stair before she takes a step and finds her footing. It's kind of like a mountain goat as you make your way down the stairs and get to the group. That's cute. Opal uh, rolled a four, mm -hmm. and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get two stairs farther, and then you punch your own little hole. No! <laughs> and drop down. Great. It's only like six feet, though. Okay. And you're all together. Um, In I, the dark. I would like to uh, try to use my dark vision uh, to see if I can see through this, this darkness. Okay. Which is sort of a passive sense that I have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for any of you that have dark vision, it does not permeate this unless you have the ability to see through magical darkness. Nope. I am gonna blink again and then uh, try, uh, like I'm frustrated by this and I wanna try to use my blind sight. Do you have blind sight? I have, I have dark vision, blind sight, and tremor sense. Okay. Uh, with your blind sight, it's when you take steps that you get a sense of what is out and around you. And you feel, make an arcana check for me on top of all of that. All right. Ooh, bad. Okay. Yeah, you're walking around and <laughs> you get a little bit of light off of uh, Dariax's uh, lit little piece, chest piece. I don't know what the word necklace is. There we go. Ah, Amulet. Go. Whew. Words are hard. Bacon, bacon, bacon lips. Bacon lips. <laughs> <laughs> and you have this immediate sense that this space is filled. You are not in a like large open place that is too dark. There is stuff everywhere. And then you hear it and feel it a drip, drip from something very close to you, only about five feet in front of you. So regardless of all my senses, it's still getting muted by whatever whatever this is. I yeah, can only sense, sense this, yeah. little, this little drip. Um, I don't know what it is, so I'm just gonna walk toward it. With your hand out, you reach and you touch cold flesh. <gasps> and follow it up to a throat that's been slashed open that's bleeding oh, onto the ground. For <clears throat> sake. Orm's got his hand on Dorian's cloak down low going, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you what 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 you, what do you what do you got? Giving <laughs> <laughs> our time seeing. Let me and I go ahead and bring up the the necklace to bring a little bit of light to the circumstance. And as you bring light over, you see illuminated uh, a bunch of like weirdly strung up crewmen 
that are all dead. And just past your vision, you can kind of sense it with your, with your blind sight and you feel it with this connection that you have to the light as something just and disappears past your field of view. Um, we're not alone. Something's here. Uh... Hi, I'm the cook! <laughs> what are you... Come here! <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do we want the thing that killed the men to come here? Really? That was really, I just, it, I went on instinct and it was wrong. She pulled an opal and it was bad move. Yeah, it was a bad move. I thought it was kind of cool. Thank you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage. <laughs> oh. oh, I rolled a natural 20. Yay! Oh. Yeah. Disadvantage. Uh, oh. Eight. Oh, oh. no. Taking you feel a little burst of energy, like a swirling vortex of air beside you, and just a little sting as you look down and you see your arm has a tiny slash across it. And all of you can feel this like of energy as it dissipates again. But I will allow if any of you in this moment want to attempt to interact with the thing disappearing as you hear Fern kind of give a little and looks down at her left arm. Mostly talking to Orem, who pulled the sword out. Uh, but all I heard was a, 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 like a wince from getting someone getting hurt. Yeah. And we have dim light, like a little bit of light. You have a tiny t- amount of light. I'm not gonna make you completely blind. And we don't see anything anywhere? You just have a sense of something with form, but not mass, vanishing. Okay, well then I will um, zip forward on my boots of uh, striding and springing and just stab into the dark. Okay, make an attack roll with disadvantage. By the way, I've been raking Regal for months <sighs> to not use his halfling reroll on natural ones, and I fucking, it's our first game. I'm oh at, no! I forgot I've rolled like two or three natural <laughs> rolls. <laughs> Can you re-roll every single one that every you get? Single every one single one. Every single one. Wow. Wow. Oh no! Yeah. Episode yeah. one. <laughs> Episode one. Beautiful. Oh god, that sucks. What an hey, I rolled an eighteen and a natural one. <laughs> hey. Can you get rid of that die, please? My god. What is that? That's okay. So there's an attack roll. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Uh, 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 seventeen. Yeah, with a seventeen you catch something and you feel your sword make purchase before it goes completely incorporeal. And you hear a very humanoid hiss of pain on top of like the hiss of disapparation. So I just heard Yeah. Uh, But you gotta gotta hit in. Roll damage for me. Okay. Um, Nine. Wrong campaign. Okay. Uh, it survived. It got out. Mm-hmm. But you have a sense now that you are truly alone in this space. Now what? What just happened? Um, uh, are, are these bodies clothed? Yeah. They are dressed yeah. like uh, sailors that came through like a really cold front, like so they're all like super bundled up, and just the exposed bits of flesh were absolutely like brutalized efficiently. Huh. This doesn't make any sense. Um, I I just grab Darax by the lapel and start uh, dragging him so that I can see. Right. Yeah. Um, and I'm just looking for any anything that makes any sense that'll explain what's going on in here. You count 20 soldiers that were massacred. Some of them have looks of surprise and confusion still on their face. And a pile of like three of them are standing in front of a bunch of like crates in a hold. Is there anything, any kind of markings or writing on the crates? Uh, <laughs> leaning Dariax in farther. <laughs> what languages do you speak and read? Uh, common and halfling. It's neither of those two. Uh, but you see like this one black crate, the same black as the ship itself, and it's ornately carved and has like 
little onyx fixtures on it and dark metal and this looks like by far the most valuable piece there and three uh, of the sailors died sort of interposing themselves in front of it if there is something valuable that was it is there anything in it <sighs> is it empty i'm gonna give it a look i'm not open it does it, can anybody read this? Hold on. I speak Elvish. It's part of the reason I even have this, and I take my spear. Is there like a lid or some sort of yep. opening? I'm gonna go ahead and from a, from as far a distance as I can to the edge of like the, the, the seven, eight feet of the spear, almost kind of like <clears throat> prop it open carefully. Nice. Uh, make an attack roll for me. Oh. Ooh, natural 19. Ooh. That will be a total of 23. Yeah, you kind of pry it into like this little false lock and you wiggle it and kind of pop the entire like closing mechanism open. It wasn't like a full lock, but it swings open and you see just that little bit of light allows you to see that there's some particulate sort of aerosolized that comes out of it. And if you give it a minute, it will dissipate and the contents are available for interaction, but you can't see inside it yet. You have to get closer. Get uh, closer to it. I oh, that's, of course, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a creature of impulse. <clears throat> and ah, and just goes ahead and approaches and kind of holds the light forward to glance inside, still at the spear at the ready. Yep. Uh, as you lean over, you see that the entirety of this like two foot by two foot chest is just a single onyx circlet on a large black pillow. It looks like like a thorny crown. And it looks jagged and strange. And you don't smell it, but you feel like you can smell and taste something heavy and oily coming off of it. Hmm. And even as you like sort of dangle the light over, as it swings, you see to the right and left, there's satchels of like gold and rolled up rugs plenty of other like trinkets and artifacts, but this, this is the thing that three soldiers died to protect. I mean, it's not a hat, but. Well, maybe you should put it on. Okay. Uh, no. Just kidding. No. <laughs> uh, I hand him a rag. I wouldn't even touch that. I'm gonna, good looking out. I'm curious. I'm gonna walk up behind Dariax and and uh, look peer over. And as I do, I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder and subtly wipe the blood from my hand on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Slight hand check. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, natural one oh. with plus four or five. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Very obvious. Wow. It's obvious to everyone else. Dariax doesn't have the attention span for this, I think, but everyone else sees you do it. I actually still have a passive perception of nine. Weird. Yo, even he noticed. That's how bad you did. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think it's kind of cute. Aww. I'm happy to help. And I'm going <laughs> to think. It's the nicest thing that's been wiped on you all day. Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. Really? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stare in the box. He's just so happy it's not shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, and I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna say, "What do you think?" Um. Well, I've I've traveled a lot of Taldore in my years of leaving the past behind me, and this looks like something the Orm said I shouldn't touch. You're going to touch it, aren't you? I want to so bad, but he said not to, and I don't know. I feel like I'm dragging this bad stuff. You can touch it, though. I don't want to touch Actually, it. Actually, probably don't touch it. I don't touch. There's a bunch of dead bodies I, in here. I put my hand inside one of them. Oh, don't move over. Is there? Can anyone read what this box says? Is it dwarvish? Nope. Is it elvish? Nope. Is it nope. Pr primordial? <clears throat> nope. Uh, infernal. Sylvan. It's not infernal, but you recognize the lettering. Could the five of us carry the whole crate out with everything? Yeah, absolutely. This crate is like pretty big and bulky, but it seems like it's to make a little distance between the actual object on the inside oh, of it. Oh, oh, oh. 
the font is clearly Comic Sans. <laughs> Tis, papyrus. <laughs> this object so is good. truly cursed. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Well, what if we just took the whole shebang? Okay, and I have another idea. Since no one is alive aboard this ship, technically we're not stealing from them, yep. so why don't we take something else that we could possibly give to... We're not giving this? Oh, Dak. The crate is... Posca. We can't give this Posca. We can't give this... Who did you say? Dude. <laughs> is, isn't... I'm sorry, I'll get clarification. Good. Isn't the, the crate full of other dope shit around it and the thing is inside the crate? So there's a big, there's a big ass dark crate with just this circlet inside it. Ah. And then a bunch of dope shit all around you. Okay, I thought it was like in the crate with the thing. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. The Ark of the Covenant. The, yeah. the Ark of the Covenant. And yeah. a bunch of loot. <laughs> all right. Let's take something small. Mm. Why are we whispering? Something that we can, oh, good call. Or well, what if, what if, the, what if they can hear? Yeah, what, okay. <clears throat> Should we take like, um, okay. I'm gonna investigate and look around and see if there's what all goodies that we could um, have at our disposal yeah. to take to Pasca. You Listen, look around to steal Darian, uh, Dariax and I will take the crate. Cool. Okay. Here's what I sure. think. I think, I don't think we should give this away. Give what? The, 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 this, this. Oh, yeah. Are you touching it? No. <laughs> no one has touched it! <laughs> Never been so excited about object work in my life. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Let's just get it out of here first. Okay, we'll get it out of here. We can grab some other uh, extra things. Um, oh, nine. <laughs> Wrong campaign. <laughs> that, that, that's a good joke for like two more times and then we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look around and you see like, uh, like big rugs, like rolled up tapestries and carpets, uh, a couple like little just stuff that looks valuable, like vases and like ob like art objects, and a couple bags of like sundry coins and things. Let's just oh. take a, like small stuff, just okay. one small thing. Take the coins and maybe like a, a take, tapestry that yeah. I can. Just oh, a tapestry wrap. seems big. Is that it is big? big? Aren't they big? Are they, big? they are very big. Less it will be harder for you to get like those big, like sort of unwieldy things off the ship than this crate. Let's let's just take the coins. Just take the coins, and that's fine. Yeah, Opal. take the money for sure. Opal, grab me something cool. I trust your style. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> crate is this big, this big? Two by two? Two by two. Two by two. Oh, is it a one one person job? Yeah. Oh. Just thought you were being safe. Okay. okay. Well, we should be safe. <laughs> we should take all of the coin, probably yes. because the who else is gonna have it now, since they're all dead? Let's do it quick, because there's dead bodies in here. Okay. Yeah, you get about uh, 500 platinum pieces worth of oh, like wow. sundry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, honey. You said 500? Yeah. I'm not stingy with my group. Yeah. Mm. You're low level and I thought cool. she had said 5,000. I was like, ah! <laughs> 500 platinum is 5,000 gold. Hey, hey. Woo. Uh, mm. I am going to look at Darius. I'm just going to pick up the crate awkwardly like the crate that I had is when it, I boarded the ship. Is it open? Or shut. It's still open, right? Cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> you got so close! I love it. Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> oh no, too! Oh, no! Oh, oh, here we go. I will pain. remind you, I have to remind you that I gave everyone inspiration at the beginning of the oh, episode if you want to use it. If not, oh, that's right. you don't have yeah, to. I can't be so dumb. <laughs> I'll do it again. I'll use my inspiration. Hey, 14. With a 14, what is your alignment? Uh, chaotic, good. Ooh, good. You oh, no. get close to this as it's open and your stomach immediately seems to fill with a heavy, oily, roiling ichor and you turn. And while it's still in your hand, you just begin to vomit it out. <gasps> whoa, whoa, And your whoa. desire to hold this thing, to be this close to it, is is less than zero. I cannot describe like how much it sucks to be this close to this object. Oh, God. 
Ugh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ugh, spit the last of my, ugh. and just kind of slide it across the floor. I don't want it. Yeah. I'm gonna push it away. Pat is back. <laughs> All right, buddy. Mm. 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 Bacon, up. lots and lots of bacon. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Actually, no food comes out. Oh. Just oily blackness. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you can keep your bacon. I'm not going to take that from you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you earned it. Yeah. Mm. Uh, oh, that's not bacon. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh. gone. He's gone full Billie Eilish. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> can we, should we put the top back on? <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, kick it, I kick it shut. You kick it shut? Yeah. Okay. You're not very tall. What's your alignment? Uh, I would say, I've not thought about this till now, neutral good. The moment your toe touches it, you feel doubled over with like cramps and an urge to vomit also, but you don't. And you kick it shut, you do it. (laughs) All right. Your feelings are up. Good note, not eating there tomorrow. True, true. Glad we didn't try to bake it up in a rag. <clears throat> is, everyone, is everyone just like this physically weak? I mean, I don't, I'm not judging. I'm just. <laughs> well, you try. Do you want me to do yeah, Do you no, want one no, of us to try? Yeah, try to pick it up. What's your alignment? Chaotic neutral. Pick it up. It's fine. Was it? What? No black vomit for you? No, I told you I've been experienced. I've been around the block a bit. Huh, maybe I'd sat next to a bunch of. Evil boxes before, I don't know. <laughs> Built up a tolerance. Or maybe you just need to acknowledge the fact that as of this moment, you're a criminal now. You've stolen something. You what did I steal? Entering. <gasps> you're a criminal. <laughs> oh, stop teasing him, Derek. All right, fine. Let's go. <clears throat> as you carry this out, I just want to remind the group that you are leaving like a crime scene. <laughs> just well aware. Cool. Yeah. Just well letting aware. you know. All right, so you head up. To the deck, but it's still dark as as sin down there. Down there, right? like down where you are. Yeah. Uh, before we get up there, can just, somebody just go ahead and like peek up on the deck and make sure there isn't somebody like right there. I'll make give sure the coast is clear if we're gonna I'll do this. A peek. Okay. Got uh, my ears going. <laughs> uh, you look up above the deck and kind of peek up and over, and uh, give me a. Yeah, give me a perception check. I'll give you advantage on this. Okay. 13. With a 13, it seems, it is strange now that you're kind of like centered on this like weird ship that it feels like people are sort of naturally giving it a really wide berth. Hmm. And maybe that crate has something to do with it. But you look over and you see one person in the crowd in like robes that seem even darker than like the dark black, like sort of raincoats and stuff that people are wearing, makes pointed eye contact with you. And then you see them disappear in a swirl of black vapor. Oh, 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 I saw someone and then they just kind of disappeared. Hmm. Um, but they're gone now. That's good. So we probably can exit I, the ship. I feel like we should put this crate in another crate. Like maybe the fruit crate. Like cover it? And then put fruit on top of it. <sighs> yeah. Okay. No? Sure. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. But this is the point of no return. So far we haven't truly stolen anything. We haven't taken anything off the ship, but if we take this crate and those coins in your pocket, we are thieves. Well, uh, we don't know who we're stealing. When a ship shipwrecks at sea, and then later on, passers-by scavenge from the wreckage, are they thieves? No. Why is this any different? Because the ship is floating. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to sink the ship? No, no, no. You. Yeah, my my logic's flawed. Sorry. Um, well, finders keepers. That's the saying where I'm from. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the saying where everyone's okay, from. <laughs> um. 
I say we go for it. Yeah, I don't, I really don't see a problem with this. The more time we discuss this, the more trouble we'll be. And as we know, time is a sandwich. So yep. we gotta get going. I have heard that. Time is a sandwich. Are the, is there, in, in the dim light that we have down here, is there any other um, exits, steps further down into the ship? <gasps> uh, there is a lower hold, yes. Um, can I borrow Mister? Oh, no. Mister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, go with Orem, okay? I think he doesn't have to reach that high. Can, can you give me a little light, buddy? You take care of my little Mister. He just opens his mouth. <laughs> And every now and then he just makes like a weird, like gaggy burpy sound and like a little gout of flame comes up that like lights the space. Excellent. Kind of like a weird strobe light. Uh, Mr. and I are going to stealth down to the lower hold. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, you come down and around and even before you like get all the way, it's, it's not a staircase, it's like a little ladder mm-hmm. and you see like metal bars in a cage, and then something huge and angry and snarling slams up against it and makes these like clicking sounds. Wait, ladder down? And yeah, if you go ladder down level. into this lower hold, there's a big like cage, like completely caged off about a foot. How far from the ladder? Uh, Let's say three feet. Okay, ooh. Close. Real close. <laughs> and you're little. That's plenty of time, like, you're good. Okay. Uh, hey, mister, can you burp in that direction? <laughs> And he like turns and opens his mouth wide and like gives like this big like hiccup burp. And uh, have you ever seen a keg before? A what now? A keg? An on keg? A non keg? Yes. Yeah. No. Orem? No. Liam? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Baldur's Gate on PC? Uh, no. <laughs> Never seen an on keg. You see this massive uh, like insectoid monster, like nine feet long. Oh like run up to the very edge and it's trying to like bite the bars <gasps> and make its way through and it looks at you, its eyes glittering. Uh, that's the only defining feature down here? There's nothing else, it's just an empty lower hold with a giant cage oh, and a massive killer insect in it. Yeah, um, there were goats in there with it. There's not anymore. Pull Mr. back. <laughs> nah, he's just like rejoin. Making- He's a big boy. He's yeah. just ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get him. He's tough. This is, bad, this is a bad boat. This is a bad boat. We should get off the bad boat. Why is it bad? Oh, what'd you see down there? There's a. This is a bug. Oh. Big bug. Oh. You could take it. It's worth a lot of money. No. Like a lot of money. Uh, uh, oh yeah. I, uh, I could try to talk to him. Just take an on keg. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that thing is. This is Liam talking. Uh, to you. I'm gonna hop down there. Yeah, you Whoa. see a giant monster. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh, wait. Why did I think I could talk to animals? Because you're true. Because I talk to. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um. Hello. No. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to get killed. Amazing. Down here. Uh, well, it's in a cage. It's in a cage. It's in a cage. So now. far, like you can make an animal handling check about it. The DC is high. Okay. I love the idea of Posca asking us to steal something for her, and we come back pushing a cage with yeah, an yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> front door. Well, I just figure we could bring this back to Posca. <laughs> Posca doesn't deserve this. <laughs> um, hello in there. Um. Wow, I don't know what I'm doing down here or what my goal is. Um. Uh, Love it. I want to shout down, what's going on down there? When you shout, you hear a massive clicking like, ah, and just the chewing of metal. What was that? Thank you. Yes, that, what was that? It's stunt sound. It's just a little, a little, a little friend. Slow buddy. Um, Sounds like a big friend. <laughs> it's a ten foot tall praying mantis. Would you would you want to come with us? Animal handling check. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not impossible. Not, not one of Fern's best ideas. It's not impossible. I disagree. Twelve. <laughs> you have inspiration. Use it. Do I re-roll or that's a D4? You add a D12, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 that's a re-roll. When oh, a DM yeah. gives you inspiration. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a, okay. Oh. Part of inspiration, you get to add the dice. Oh, natural one. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
it just starts chewing the bars and you Ooh. see that like between uh, <laughs> Mr. and Orem and the yelling from above and like looking at you, something new and fresh and alive that's closer, it's making its way through the bars and you hear a clamp as it <laughs> gets through and starts trying to like push its face and bore its okay, way well, through I don't, the cage. Just wait, you don't have to come with me right now. I just, I don't know what your plan is here. <laughs> I'm gonna go back upstairs. Um, okay, well, he is, um, didn't, Want me down there? So, um. Wait, what's down there? It's a big bug. Very large bug. A deadly bug. A deadly bug. Mm. It's a deadly bug. It's a, it's probably a bug. it's probably a bug. Um. Do you want him? I want to see. Okay. I just, I don't go down. I just peek down. Oh, with, yeah. With my necklace. You peek down and <laughs> <you> actually. <laughs> Yeah, I <laughs> actually see this thing like it started to calm down again and at the light begins to like frenzy and you can hear the cracking of its like carapace as it's like breaking itself, trying to push through the metal bars to get to you and get out. Turn back up to the rest of you. That's so cool. Yeah, right. Okay, now let's go. Okay, let's go. <sighs> you can get it if you want it. I feel it, I feel it in my body. I <laughs> want him. him. Okay. Brilliant. You know where to find him. I do. Okay. I'm gonna slam the, the door shut. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cover uh, the crate with fruit and yeah, that's you know, very smart. Yeah. Can someone take my spear for me? <clears throat> I'll I'll pee. I peed on it. I'll take it. All right, there you go. Thanks. Sweet. <laughs> All right. You are walking with it. Uh, yeah, you can make it back up and out. Uh, m- make stealth checks for me. Hmm. Let me know if you roll lower than a 12. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Good call. I'm disadvantage on stuff. So, sorry. So it's a, for the, with a DM inspiration, it's just roll again? Yeah, you get a, you get a free reroll. Great. Because I like you. I'm gonna need it. Okay. Lower than a 12? Mm-mm. No. Six. Oh. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I have disadvantage on stealth, which I, I don't did. know why. Uh. <laughs> Always? Apparently, there's but a big so old green next to it. Don't look at me. I don't know why you have it. I do. It's you're, fine. Uh, <laughs> you're a six foot tall goat lady. <laughs> it's mostly that. She's yeah. so pretty. It's the bait. <laughs> you're like the Dita Von Tees of fawns. Yeah. yeah. They're hard to miss. Hello. Did you just call her Dita Von Tees? Oh, I thought he just said that. Wow. Dita Fonte. That's cute. I respect that that is you. Have That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> and you're able to like stealth out and away. And as you're coming down the deck, uh, all of you make it, but all of you notice that there's a figure in the crowd that's staring very pointedly at you, Fern. And they're just watching you come down. They never get any closer. Do we all see her getting up? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you all see this like singular person, sort of watching Fern specifically. Did you guys notice that that person is looking at me? Yeah. Can Opal like grab like one dagger and start picking at her nails <laughs> while she makes eye contact with the person looking at Fern? She had stare down. I like it. Uh, that person isn't looking at you at all. So unless you like work your way into the field of vision, not paying attention to you. Opal's gonna work her way into the field of vision. (laughs) Nice. Just full on. (laughs) Try not to cut herself. (laughs) You do not cut yourself. Go ahead and make an intimidation check. Come on. We respect the drip. Get a girl. Oh, 14. Is that good? With a 14, (laughs) it like, its eyes actually flicker away from Fawn and a light on you, and its eyes narrow, and then it disappears in a swirl of black vapor. I felt very safe. Thanks. Thanks. That was the point. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we keep, um... Does I mean, anybody remember the name of the, um... Posca. The warehouse? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Posca Warehouse. I don't know if she told us, but she said that it was a, uh, the warehouse that refuses the light. So maybe it's a a dark. It, there's. I, I what imagine if the warehouse was a boat? Because it refused the light. 
Right. Maybe Posca's just not very smart and called it a warehouse. So then we stole from her instead of okay. giving it back. Are we? <laughs> are we are, giving this? Are her? we still on the deck of the? No, I'm ship. allowing that you guys have like moved off of the ship and are moving through. We're we're, in, we're into the docks. We've, we've made it safely off of the yes. ship, and we're discussing this as we're as you're moving. As we're, but, but but we're kind of in the clear at this point. Like as far as you know. As far as we know. And we. Left I mean, you know that item. someone has very no, specifically. Yeah. He's got it. We took the curse it off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We put it in a. It's under a bunch of bananas or yeah. some shit. It's under yeah, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> fantasy bananas. You covered yeah, it. Yeah. In, you covered it in potassium. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Subdues all curses yeah. and yeah. necromancy. Yeah. It's true. And they we stuff their know. pockets with banana coins. splits. Yeah. Banana yeah. splits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So desserts. <laughs> <clears throat> so are we? So uh, are we taking this to the warehouse, or what are we doing with this? We can do whatever we want with it. Mm-hmm. Well, we can't get too close. <laughs> We could take it to the warehouse. What? Did anybody grab anything else? We got some coins. coins. That's something. <clears throat> or <clears throat> we could still always call the city guard and keep it all for ourselves. True. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna back you up on that. I've 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 worked with some of these people, and uh, when. You get one person arrested, the rest of them know, and then they find you, and then they remove your organs while you sleep. So um, <gasps> best to kind of like, you know, stay on the up and up. I like my organs, okay. Me too, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah I'm a fan of mine. Good. Also hard to know who to trust in a big city like this. Yeah. So you trust everyone. So uh, you guys have reached Darkwater Street and you see rows upon rows of warehouses. And because it's rainy and dark, uh, a lot of like the little like lights and lamps are all covered and lit, except for one at the far end that doesn't have any sort of like braziers on it at all. It's got that marking anywhere. As you get closer, yeah, no roll required. You see in the very bottom corner of this like foundational like cobblestone, you see a really rough, it's just five slashes holding five slashes. Mm. Wow. Okay, let's just let's just discuss for just a moment. Are we giving this circlet to uh, mm. these people at this warehouse? I, I, I don't understand. Maybe. Maybe. We should keep this a secret for now and take like a quarter of the coins and give it to Posca as we found coin. We found your loot. The we'll start there. It'll give us a negotiating point. The circlet does feel special. It doesn't feel like anything to me, but it looks cool. I did ask for <clears throat> a hat. Is there anyone? Is there any way for us to identify what this is? Should we look at it again before we go in? Mm. We stole an oily dark crown from a ship full of corpses with evaporating assassins and a monster in the hull. Make we did that. So <laughs> and it's not even dinner time. Yeah. I mean, we didn't do anything. We just <clears throat> took this with us. Look, if we didn't take it, maybe these like creepy stalkers of Fern over here would have taken it. You know, like. If anything, we're probably doing a good thing by making sure this doesn't fall into the hands of like bad people that aren't us. You yeah, know? Because we know for sure we're good. Why? Well, yeah. Ish. Can I try to hold it? The box. I mean. I look over at Orem. And I look over at Dorian. Oh, uh, no. Just for your own good. Yeah, I understand. Mister begins to growl at you. <laughs> but he can get near it if he wants. 
I think we should go in. Or just peek in. Maybe just knock. But maybe not holding a... No, not holding the box. Big box of fruit. <clears throat> Is yeah. it... Uh, oh, God. No, see, I'll, I'll, should I just go hide this somewhere? Or, like, or we'll just stay out here and somebody goes in and, and yeah. gives our gift? Who wants to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm assuming you guys are standing like 20 feet outside the door. Yeah, we're not like right up against it. Like, yeah. Spring. I know Orem like got ring. close enough to notice that very small sin- symbol, but I'll, the rest of you can be have I'll all knock things. and, you know, bring in the pouch. I think that's a good idea. Opal takes out the pouch, removes quarter of them. There's how many? <laughs> quarter of 500. And how many is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. Remind me real quick. <laughs> um, 125. 125. 125. 125. 125. 125. 125. Opal is, did not study arithmetic. Um, <clears throat> puts, uh, takes 125, puts it in the pouch, and then dusts herself off. No response. Hello? No response, and the other people like walking kind of around the other warehouses are like looking over at you. Password Pasca? Do you try to, are you just waiting at the door for a response? Maybe, uh, is it, is there like, is it a jar? Or is there a, a like a? There's like a knob. A knob? It's not a jar. <sighs> it's also not locked. She opens the door. Yep. Sticks her head in. Ooh. Hello? Dark, but not magically so. After the weird oppression of the like hull of the like the blight star, this just looks honestly, it looks kind of well lit by comparison. Okay, so then I feel like but I'll just kind of like push the door open with my hand and just uh maybe stick a you know, a toe in and say, hi, I'm here. I think you were expecting me. I'm not sure, but I'm a friend of Pasca's. <laughs> you whisper and looking out into the dark. Do you have dark vision? I don't. You don't see anyone or much of anything, uh, but you have like a sense of like, just it's a warehouse full of crates and things, but there's no response. She no gets an idea. Anything. She's gonna try one more thing. Shakes the bags, of, the bag of coins. See if that entices anyone to come out. Make a persuasion check. Seven. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I have a little money here, a little gift here. I guess you don't want it. Oh. As a reminder, you remember Posca said to like leave a gift for her oh. and mark it with the illusory script on the coin that oh. she tossed to. Okay, perfect. So um, uh, maybe I... I Pull a pen out of my bag. You can have a pen if you want. Oh, you don't yeah, have to look at me pen. for that. <laughs> and she like draws like, but she takes like a little too much time to draw because she really wants it to look nice. Mm. And uh, draws like a pretty good rendition of the symbol on the bag, and then says, "Okay, well you just told me to leave it, so uh, here you go." It tosses it and it lands somewhere in the middle. You hear a little, and then, uh, not no thank you. Nothing. Okay. Nice chat. Bye! Then turns around and walks away. Okay. How'd it go? Uh, nobody answered. Uh, so I did let myself in, and then nobody answered. And I even shook the bag of money, and nobody answered. So I just drew the symbol on the little bag, and I, and I tossed it in. And hopefully that's enough for Pasca. Did you put the, like, illusory script on it, like yeah. she asked? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, make a deception check against your insight. Against my insight? No, you're going to make a deception check. He's going to make an insight check because you absolutely did not do a loser script. You know, that's a spell, right? Oh. It was a magical thing. Great. No, she she didn't do that. Nope, she did not. (laughs) She used a sharpie. She used a pen. Give her autograph. All right, well, um, so uh, it's an 18. Cool. You are, you have lied not only to Darius, but to yourself. To yourself. Uh, <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I learned that kind of script in school. Uh huh. And I did it on there. Mm-hmm. You are just full of surprises, Opal. Well done. All right. Looks like that. Jobs. 
Opal Thank makes you. a mental note of like looking up what a losing script is. <laughs> Later. <laughs> okay, so should we go back to Posca then? I guess because she was hanging out at the house. Uh, yeah, she went this upstairs and pulled herself up. Strange that she wanted us to leave it here, actually, and not bring it back to her. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, hmm. thieves are weird. Do we still have the circlet Fair. in the crate? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's make ourselves a little more suspicious. And I want to, uh, or, uh, no, a little less suspicious. The opposite. Hey, don't look over here. Food. Um, <laughs> food. Food. I, I want to un, I'm going to unclip my cape from my shoulder yeah. and I'm going to hand it to Dariax. Oh. About my cape. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the crate and I'm, I'm gonna take, and I feel the, the retching, I feel the retching, oh, no. and before I barf, I'm gonna just dump the circlet into my crate, in, or d- from the crate into my thing, into my cloak Kay. that he's got. Yeah. Well, you're halfway with the crate, Dirax is partway putting it on, and it's no, like, no, 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 <laughs> keep it, oh. keep it open, oh. keep it open. Mm. <laughs> then I toss it in the crate, and I make a motion to tie it up and make, yeah. I, all right, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he gets it, yeah. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, it takes a second, but. Wear it. Orm mm. and Fern, I need you to make perception checks. Uh, 23. 18. Both of you clock the moment the crate is opened. You are not alone. You look around and that that aura coming off of the circlet has pushed people away and you're at the end of this sort of cul-de-sac of warehouses. And you, Orem, just hear a little (gasps) 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 Four dark figures. Eyes up, eyes up, not alone. Up here. And the little dagger's out. What's going on? And they chase you into the warehouse. So, I'm gonna need you all to roll initiative and I'm gonna get the thing real quick. I just wanted to be more suspicious. <laughs> you did it! And you did it! And you fucking did it! Don't worry, nothing, nothing Man, tops, you, no, nothing tops Opal this. thinking she did something she I did not love it. do! Buddy, I love it. I love it. One true ring into I your did. trousers. Bend over for a second. <laughs> I had more of like a Sauron's eye in the satchel. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. okay. Oh man, <laughs> it's so different from Caleb. I love it. I got a 19 on initiative. Nice. <laughs> All, right. All right. Oh, I can put you guys out. Oops, sorry guys. Whoa, how oh. beautiful. Whoa. I tried so hard. Ooh. Holy shit. Let's go. Oh, look at the minis. Look at this. Minis in the yes, yes, we got our minis. Yes, yes. We got our minis. We're children. <sighs> yeah, luckily. Yeah. I'm sorry. Never the way to be. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Sweet. Just Winnie the Pooh your way through life. Damn right. <laughs> and as you run in, uh, I'm just gonna say, for the sake of setting this up, they disappear from behind you and are gonna appear in the darkness, just so I don't have to like chase you in with guys. Oh shit! We've got to go inside. It's the only safe. Please. You let me do this! Yeah. <laughs> I worked so hard on this map, you have to go in there! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Uh, okay, Orem, what you got? 19. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna do it the right way. Uh, did anyone get an issue between 20 and 25? No. All right, uh, 15 to 19. 19. I got a 19 as well. Yeah! Who has the higher decks between the two of you? Oh, probably you. 18? 15, yeah. Okay. I don't remember anyone's name. This is great. Oh, good. It's the O names. Thank you, guys. Please do this. <laughs> Double O. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyone between what are numbers? 10 and 14. 13. 12? Oh. <laughs> Story is. Back and clean up. Just back and clean up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More suspicious. I mean, you really, you it's like the subconscious <laughs> called it. Yeah. Wheeled it into being. You uh, did. Ocho. Manifestation Our is, manifestation, manifestation is real. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, buddy. Eight. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. So proud of you. I That's know. fine. We gotta fight these shadow figures. <laughs> <laughs> right. my bad boys. <gasps> okay, uh, Orem, you're up first. You like oh, run into this dark warehouse full of stuff 
and you see those four uh, individuals that were behind you appear in front of you. In front of us. Uh, I don't even blink, there's not a split second. I run diagonally to the side and um, use the boots to sort of spring up um, yeah. up onto that platform. Mm-hmm. Nope, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, to here. And as soon as I land in place, um, I yank a dagger out the back of my boot and throw it at the uh, one closest to me. Huh? That's right. All right, go ahead and make an attack roll. All Is there right. no light source in this place? Nope. Oh, nothing? Oh, do you have dark vision? Not at all, so I don't know nothing. Then I, that's a different uh, story entirely. Um, uh, I will have you make the attack with disadvantage, but there is a strangeness to the fact that you were just in magical darkness that even in like non-magical darkness, it's still dim. You can kind of see in this see room. figures. Please light something by all means, but. I'm actually not gonna do that. Okay, okay, we'll walk it back. I'm sure. going to. Uh, I can't quite see the overview of where everyone is. Can I get a different angle there? That's great. Um, I can hear, uh, I can hear Fern's hoofs in front of me. So I'm going to dart, uh, using that sound dart in front of her and, uh, hold an action. Mm. And the moment I sense anything right in front of me, and then, then I'm going to attack. Oh. Okay. Absolutely. Noted. All right, Opal, you're up. No, oh, I hate it here. <laughs> um, okay, well, she's nothing if not impulsive. So I say, you said it's dim here, right? Yes. So it's not, but she kind of has a, she can see sh- 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 figures, yeah, right? I'm giving this to you because I love you it. I love it because someone's got to attack. Um, okay, so I'm going to use my movement to go up to those little boxes right there. Which ones? These yeah. ones or these ones? Oh, uh, sorry, those, yeah, those that you just pointed out. Okay, okay. Um, and then I am going to cast Witch Bolt. Ooh. Ooh. At mm. this guy that is in front of the boxes. Him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That guy. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That is a 13. A 13 just hits. Ooh. Okay. So then. Uh, mm. da, 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 da. Uh, so I roll for damage, yes? Please do. 11. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, you drop this witch bolt on the man standing in front of you and you obliterate him. Yeah. Ooh. Disappears and dissipates. And does the light stay by any chance? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> did, it, did it flash? Did it anyone, did flash. Did we, we see anything? See? What are you trying to see? Give me an investigation oh, check. I, okay, I, I just want to see how many more there are or like the surrounding. So invested, da, da, da. So that's going to be 16. With a 16, you can see the three other figures. Okay. Cool. Including one that looks a little meaner than the rest. It's standing over here. Perfect. So I'm just going to hang out there for now. Perfect. GM, I don't think I was clear in my description. Um, I had Orem run in front oh, of sorry. Fern, 10 feet in front of her. Okay, you want to be here? Yep. Yes, please. Yeah, okay. My bad. <clears throat> no worries. <gasps> Absolutely. So, did you want to take your action in that flash of light where you're able to, like, get the lay of the land? Uh, um, I'm happy to give you that, like, Yeah, I mean, it was f- it was looking for a threat, so I'll take that. Um, I'll throw at the one diagonally to his right, just past, uh, well, past Opal. Nope. Uh, nope. This one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mean attack roll. Uh, what is that? My my non beefy boy. Mm. Just instantaneously. (laughs) Sorry. No, it was great. Get her Uh, fucked. That's a 19 to to hit. Absolutely hits. Okay. And that is a seven from the dagger that I just threw. Amazing. You catch him and he looks up at you and he makes this like weird hissing noise. And he kind of looks at how far away you are and just staggers back. Doesn't do anything. And the room goes dark from her Palpatine electricity. Yes. Out. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Great. Per- perfect. I think Oval just <laughs> wanted you to stumble through her legs again. It'll happen. Yeah. Repeatedly. <laughs> That's fine if you don't have context for that. Feels weird. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yep. Just the right amount of weird. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's gonna come in <clears throat> right here in the melee Shit. range. And give you a bop on the head, my friends. Does a 15 hit? For me? Yes! Oh, it does, yes. Aww. Sure does. You're gonna take six points of piercing oh, damage God. as like a scimitar flashes out and catches you across the torso. Oh! 
God! And with his bonus action, he disappears. Whew. He's back in the corner. Uh -oh. Well, that's bullshit. Yep. All right, uh, Dariax, you're up, and Fern, you're on deck. Okay. Uh, people are having a hard time looking around here. Ah, shit. I'm gonna go ahead and lumber kind of uh, right next to Orem over there, kind of getting right in front of Dorian. Okay. Be like, ah, protect me! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cast light on the tip of my spear yep. and kind of halt it up to try and like light the room around. Nice. So have a better view of what's going on. <clears throat> Absolutely, you get a full view and all of you are no longer impeded with your vision. Dude. Cool. Amazing. Sweet. Anything yes, else? All right. Uh, Fern, you're up. Okay, so I'm gonna rub my hands together, put out my hands, and I'm going to cast Burning Hands um, at. Uh, oh wow, this is why I shouldn't have left my glasses at home. I guess right in front of. Is there someone right in front of me? That's me. That's oh, you. Oh no, not super short range spell. Got it. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was like, <laughs> and what if they kill themselves? I, I know. It's the no easiest campaign in my life. 15 like, foot cone. <laughs> you know what? That's like, that's not a PPK. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, sorry, I Gina, thought that was it's a PPK. PPK. I thought that was a bad guy. Let me, let me, let me, let me switch. Okay, so let me <laughs> go around to the left of those boxes. <laughs> your right. Is that? Yep. Okay. How far do you want to go? Oh, um, okay. just about right there, and then I'm gonna um shoot out an ice knife. Ooh. Ooh. I love the way you do that every time. We're like, Ooh, I really like it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, oops, don't do that. Okay. Burns got surprises. Let me pick out. Did almost murder all of you with fire. I sure did. Which I can only respect. Yeah, honestly. I feel like Derek's gonna be like, thanks. 14? Thanks a lot. A 14 does not hit this Ooh. particular bad boy. Oh shoot. Ooh. Um, and then as a bonus action, I would like to um, speak to my staff oh. um, and um, one of the, the head on the staff becomes um, a snake. Ooh. Nice. Well, ready. I was imagining like your presidential boy? staff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Moses, That's what do you turn. do with your snake? Is um, it there? It's just now, an, um, it's now a, a poisonous snake for a minute. Okay. So, ready to go, if I yes. get up close. Okay. Uh, my turn. This bad boy has two actions. He's gonna throw a dagger at you. Who's you, me? No, sorry, at oh. Fern. <laughs> uh, does an 11 hit you? No. no. Yay! And it's sort of like, it just goes wide over your shoulder. I think it gets lost in like the billows of your clothing. And kind of snaps his fingers. And he's going to run. Can you get all the way to open? Yes, you can. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, well, <laughs> you came within runnable range. I sure did. And is going to try to attack you with a scimitar. The natural 19 is going to hit. I'm going to cast shield on myself. Oh, good call. Ooh. Because she's uh, dwindling. Um, Does it get you up to a 24? Let's see. Oh. Yeah, it's a plus five to your AC. Oh, uh, no, it sure fucking doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Uh, Just to know that, because it doesn't. I need you to take four points <gasps> okay. of piercing damage. Great. So I still cast it and just didn't help. Right? Yeah, it's still up. So it'll be up for uh, until your next turn. Okay, In sounds case good. other things attack you. Which, given where you're standing, you're probably. Woo, <coughs> honey, she dead almost. No! Okay, and then he's gonna use his bonus action to disapparate, and he reappears right behind you, Fern. Oh, shit. Okay. Sweet. Uh, and Dorian, you're up. This is going very badly for everyone. That's fine, uh, it's fine. I'm scared. Uh, I'm gonna look at Dariax and, and see him. So you're like holding your spear up with the tip yeah. of the light. And I'm, but I'm also looking at you realizing that as long as he holds this position, he's just a big target. Uh, so uh, I, I, I'm gonna go over, to, I'm gonna use my movement and go over to that little 
uh, thing of trash right in front of him, whatever all that stuff is uh, right in front of him, like the, and see if there's anything like flammable in there. Is there anything like, yeah, in that whole mess of stuff? Yeah, it's a pile of oh. like crates and boxes. All of it is extraordinarily flammable. Okay, yeah, so for my turn, I'll use my tinder box. I'll smark, spark a quick flame. Love it. And Aww. light a flame in the middle of the room so we can see, and hopefully that will give Derek the chance to put a spear down and fight if he needs to. Love it. And uh, for my bonus action, I'll, uh, I'll use my bardic inspiration and give it to Opal. Thank you. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Of Appreciate course. you. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's my turn. Love it. Uh, my last guy over here is going to take a crossbow shot. Uh, Dariax, you're currently in possession of the circlet, yes? Yeah, it's, it's wrapped across my back like a little uh, little satchel, like a little baby. Little bundle, little baby situation. Yeah, right? it's like Bjorn. 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 That's Bjorn. Bjorn. Yeah, yeah, the dad's got you. Yeah, the baby yeah. Bjorn. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Does a sixteen hit you? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Damn it. He levels a crossbow. You aiming specifically for that shoulder that's kind of supporting your like evil circlet, Bjorn. And it's gonna do two points <laughs> of piercing damage. Ah. Dick munch! All right, I'm taking the point. <laughs> and he's gonna spend the rest of his turn just kind of hiding back here. As he ducks out of sight. And we're back up to the top, Orem. Cool, I know exactly what I want to do. Um, I am going to run forward and uh, slide under Opal's legs. Yeah! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use uh, my single um, battle maneuver, bait and switch, <laughs> so she has to trade places with me. <gasps> Oh, so yeah. I'll stand where she is. She's right behind me. Okay, okay. So she would be closer. Okay. And uh, I'm going to roll my superiority die and give an extra three to your AC through my, uh, till my next turn. So your AC is three higher. Wow, thank Orton's you. Because Orton's got his shield out and he's blocking you from anything that's coming. Oh, you And I will chuck friends. a dagger at the one ahead, who's uh, in that little alleyway this there. This boy? Yep. Oh, he's hiding, so it's going to be extra hard. Uh, He's doing a, please do not perceive me, sir. Oh, okay. You can aim for him if you want. Yeah, I'm but, doing it. Okay. Come on. No, it's super low. <laughs> he goes, ah! <laughs> Ducked out. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. Still did what I wanted to do. That's the end of my turn. Love it. Squeak. Thank you. Hmm? <laughs> all right, Opal, you're up. Um, is, there, is there a bad guy behind Fern? There's a bad guy behind Fern and uh, a little south of uh, Dorian, too. Okay. Um, I would like, then... To kind of turn around and cast Eldritch Blast at the bad guy. The one behind Fern or behind Dorian? The one behind Fern, because yeah. I feel like the one I don't want to hit Dorian. Okay. So, That's my go. daughter boy. Oh god damn it. Six. That's a no. That's a no. Okay, well, <gasps> then I'm just gonna stay right where I am. Do anything else? Uh I, no, I don't think so. I mean I just no. Should I? If you want to. You got anything else? Well, the thing is, I don't want to move because I'm protected by his shield, right? Correct. So, um, I mean, they're, yeah, yes. So I kind of, I, no, I'll just hang out. Cool. Don't forget you have your Hexblades curse. Yeah. Cool. Just. But I, I had to do that before, and I just remembered, right? Yeah, I mean, you can do it now, and it will kick in later. For later. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use Hexblades curse on this one behind, or what, the one behind Fern. Yeah, that is clearly the be the beefiest and the meanest beefiest, of them. The beefiest, yeah. I'm cool. gonna do that. Makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, of course. All right. Uh, next up is my little guy over here, uh, who's going to run up and attempt to do a hit on Dorian. Oh, creep. Does oh. eleven hit? No. <laughs> and he like <laughs> lunges for you, and as you like kind of get out of the way, he like crashes into like this pile and like sends up like a bunch of like embers, and kind of sort of blinds himself a little bit. He's just staggered behind you. All right. Nice. Ha-ha. Dariax, you're up. All right. Uh, Burn your own deck. With the, fl with the fire now burning on this side, kind of glance over this shoulder and give you a wink like, nice work. I look, <laughs> I look back over at you, Opal. How are you looking? <laughs> Better now. <laughs> Thanks. Scared. All right, you feel confident on that? Let's go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, as, just as a note, how, he's asking like, how close to dead do you look? Close. Okay. Oh, I'm real close. All right, so you're looking real rough? Rough! Uh, yeah, you're right there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reach out and cast Cure Wounds <gasps> on you to try and keep you from death's door. How many hit points are you at? Three left. 
Well, that'll bring you to, uh, that's a, you regain five hit points. Thank you. What's your max, Opal? 13. Woo! It was lower Fast. earlier was today. Lower! I've been hurts. running with the like, Thank you, you said like, five? Five, oh, okay. yeah. Thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my movement to go ahead and get to the, actually, I'm gonna step up on top, if I can, the boxes up there with Heck the, yeah. with the, the spear at the ready. Uh, no, the uh, the over by uh, over by Fern. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I'm gonna try and just get my spear at the ready to try and oh. and keep this guy from from focusing on Fern and be like, hey, hey, up here, asshole. <laughs> That's my turn. Nice. And he like looks up at you, and you see him kind of look, <clears throat> and then he looks at your shoulder that baby Bjorn, and gives you, like he makes eye contact with you. Yeah. Just nods. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I got the gift. <laughs> Amazing. All right, Fern, you're up. Okay, seeing seeing Dariak step up and knowing that he appeared behind me, um, I'm going to turn around and push him up against the wall, say, okay. quit moving around. Yes. And then I'm going to cast Burning Hands. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Amazing! Just full on point like against the wall. That's so good. Uh, Let's arcane, go! Arcane shotgun just yeah. uh, around. Okay. I love it. I believe in you. Um, That's incredibly cool. It's instantaneous? Is it a save? Yeah, is it a save or an attack? Oh, it's a save. It's a save. Oh, cool. So the save is. Doesn't matter. I got three on the die. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Good grief, I need my glasses. Okay. 14 points of damage. He is blasted up against the wall and there's scorch marks all around. You've painted a beautiful silhouette. And then he staggers forward, burning cracking apart under his armor, but he is still alive. Oh. Just barely. Very okay. Nice. Um, let's see if I can do this as a bonus action. Anything else? Your BA? That's it. That's all I can do. Okay. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'll I'm stay. <laughs> That's right, it's me. It's me, the cook. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're cooked. No, I hate it. Oh, that's very good. I need the spin-off. Oh or maybe it's Fern's cousin. She's there just like yes. role playing yes. her, her yes. cook cousin. Yes, it could be, it could be. Uh, he's going to stagger forward. Oh, hold on, he's about to die. He staggers forward and is going to attempt a scimitar attack against you, Dariax, to try to cut you down and bring you. He's gonna try to like hook around your leg and bring you in close. No, that shit. Oh God. Does a 12 hit? A 12? It does not. Yeah. All right, well, he's gonna try to hit you with his dagger while he's there. Does a 13 hit? 13 does not hit. And he is just, you can see him like staggering and crumpling, like he smells like cooked flesh. It's oof, long pork. And like you can see like cooked leather and skin sort of sloughing off of him as he's trying, even past the point where most people would be conscious and upright to try to get to you and get to that circlet. But mm, he fails miserably. Uh, next up is Dorian. Uh, this guy's right behind me, huh? He's right behind you. He's and right attempted to do a hit, like you just dodged a blow from him. Right, uh, and he's all musty. Uh, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna reach behind my back and uh, I, I've, I've had my ax out before, but never my scimitar. So I have a moon touch scimitar mm -hmm. that uh, is sort of hidden beneath my loot on my back. So there's uh, an extra tuning pin that goes to no string. So he's just gonna give it a click oh. and disengage and pull out his scimitar. Oh. And, oh. and try to take a swing at Shadow Boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. All right. <clears throat> oh no! no. One! Oh. Yeah, yes! Are you a halfling? Flare. What'd you say? And then, Are you a halfling? I'm not, and I use my inspiration, so okay. uh, that's a one! Ha <laughs> ha, so cool! I swing and... 
<laughs> and uh, you literally, you would have landed the blow if he didn't have the ability to occasionally be a little incorporeal. And you see him focus all of his effort in that moment and it just sort of passes through him. But he immediately re rematerializes. He wasn't able to like move away. And it's just sort of locked in this frenzied combat with you and you can look into his eyes and he seems like very worried to be this close. All right. And I look straight at him and I go, second time's a charm. And I'm gonna use my bonus action to do a two-handed attack. Yeah. Uh, pull out my hand axe and give this another whack. Go ahead. Oh, 12, does a 12 hit? A 12 just hits. Woo, yay! Uh, this is my offhand, so it's gonna be a little more awkward and it's gonna be this uh, sort of upward swing. I'm gonna try to take like a undercut at his jaw. Nice. Okay, roll damage. Mm-hmm. Which for that is... I just used his, like, reaction. I said it was that, so... Never mind. <laughs> okay. That's what I get for using The flavor. damage on this one is five. Okay. He takes five points of damage. And you hear him sort of, like, whisper, because you are, like, locked up in melee combat, and he's like, just give us the circlet. Ooh. We'll let you have everything else here. Can I yell at Daria? Sure. Daria X, they want the circlet. Don't let them have it. Ah! What? Dude. As I'm like jumping on the crates from this, the guy swooping me like, what, what was that? <laughs> they want the circlet. I'm just, a finisher. Okay, just making sure. Do I give it to them? No, they, they wanted to not, not give it to them. Uh, Got it. He's gonna peek out Are behind you? the corner, loveless crossbow at you as you yell. Since you are a standing target, does an 18 hit? I told you, I heard you! Oh! <laughs> no! As you take five points of Ooh. piercing damage. Yikes. And it's like, it's a group, like those bolts are grouping up. It is in your shoulder. He is trying to sever the arm that oh, is God. keeping that circlet on your body. <laughs> and then he ducks back away again because he's a chicken shit. Fucking dick. All right. Cool. All right, we're back up at the top. Orem. Uh, uh, Mobile, you're on deck. Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen. Cool. Um, uh, Orem, who's very small already, just sort of like pushes his boots down into the ground, and I jump uh, uh, without a running start. I jump f uh, fifteen feet over the boxes and land uh, three squares later. Yeah. Do you add a? Are you going this way? No, I'm doing a straight line over the box mm -hmm. and yep. then a diagonal. Uh, right. Yeah, you should get me right, right up there. in his grill. Uh, he goes, ah! <laughs> and then he like swats his crossbow at you. <laughs> he didn't come to it with a melee weapon. Slide to the left, and then uh, I'm going to attempt to slash at his um, Achilles. I'm just going to go down at the ankle because I'm up there and pull back. Yes, please. Uh, oh no, that's a terrible attack. Um, that is uh, just a nine, so I'll use an action surge and try again. Smart. That hits. That's an 18 plus Absolutely. 24. Yes. yes. It does incredibly hit him. Uh, that is an eight Ooh. damage. Uh, with eight, you like come. No, you describe it for me. What does it look like? Uh, well, I went for the other and he jumped, so um, I then just dived back in as he was, as he lifted one foot up and one foot was down on the ground. I just went and just went and slit the other one. Yep. He immediately Ooh. drops to a knee and there is just an aggressive amount of blood pouring out of like the leather armor as he's like on his knee and looking you like dead in your eye. Mm. And he just says, just give us the circlet. <laughs> Please. <laughs> That's it. I don't yeah. know what's going on. <laughs> Tight Opal, you're up. He's just like. <laughs> okay, so she, Opal didn't learn her lesson, so she is going to use her movement to get in front of this little guy right here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Who who, who are the um, yeah. evils left? Uh, there's a guy here. Right. Here, there's a guy and out yonder. Okay, so I'm going. Oh no, but then I'm okay. Um, okay. The triangle. Yeah. <laughs> so what I think I will do is I'm going to get Oh, this is so stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to use my movement to get in between those two guys. Mhm. Mm and then, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that okay, and then follow me here. I would like to use cuz so one of them has um 
Oh, never mind. I have the hex blades curse on the dude on this your guy. Left. So yeah. that means that will only work. The curse will only work if I use a spell on him, correct? No, can I use... if you do damage to him. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to pull one of my daggers out. Yep. And I want to throw it at this guy to the left. Yep. <sighs> okay. I'm going to get faster at this. Okay, an 18. Hits. Okay. <gasps> And that will be... You don't have to roll damage. I don't? How do you kill him? Yeah! yeah. yeah. We're not doing the phrase yet. It's got to be a bigger bag. Okay, I know, I know. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So I'm going to take the throw that willy-nilly. That's fine! Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to take the W. Okay, so um, Opal throws it with a flare, and it lands... Uh, can I choose where it lands? On his body? Yeah, absolutely. On his body? I think it lands, like, right in whatever big artery is here. Carotid, Carotid let's go. artery, and it just goes <laughs> Yeah. And you just hear the drip, drop, drip, drop, callback to hey, the we ship. Love callback. We love it's a callback. We love a callback. And, um, and, he, and then he falls to the floor in the pool of his own blood. Blah. He falls over, he's very dead. Yay! Okay, and then with my, can I use a, uh, my other, the two weapons fighting as a bonus action? Yes. Okay, so I'll take another dagger and test my luck again mm -hmm. and aim for the guy on my right. Yeah, that's what you oh, do. Look, yes. Okay. Let's go. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, uh, 18 again. Yeah, it hits. Okay, so now I have to <laughs> roll for damage. Yes. Okay. She just knocks them both out. That'd so that's going to be five damage. I gotta say it. How do you wanna do this? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta okay. respect the double murk. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so this time, you know, she was like, she was feeling real cocky about this. So this time she aimed like a little bit lower and it just, just pierces just right here. You hit him in the wiener. Just in the wiener. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, and this is dick good for me. Did you do the dick raise? I think it, yeah. Is that what it's called? <laughs> and um, there's a lot of important arteries. There's a lot you're, of you're arteries good. there. Oh, we got the there. And, and you know yeah. what? It's wiener. And I'm not gonna get into the gory details, but I do think we see like a crimson smear, just oh, ooh, ooh, brutal. soak the front of the pants. Yeah. Oh. He looks down, horrified. Looks up. I do this. And he falls wow. down. Yes. Down. Such a Amazing. Yes. Who will put my kids through Thieves Guild College? <laughs> I love it. I love that she's standing there, like legs like this. Yeah. <laughs> Right. And I love that one died loudly and the other just died uh, quietly uh, in his own cooler, If I recall, when you kill something with your Hexblade's curse, you heal a little bit. That's right. With five, I think. I think it's five. It's your Warlock level plus your Charisma mod. Uh, warlock level. Bad at math. Bad at math. Bad at math. Bad at math. Good. How many hit points did you get back? I don't know. Was well, I don't know. I think it's. Oh, I'm so proud. I think it's five, if I remember correctly. It is What's, five. It's five. Okay. I'm just making sure you can confirm it on yeah, your own sheet. Yeah, it's five. It's five. Cool. Heal. That's I'm up to thirteen out of thirteen, baby. Yeah. You yeah. did. Thanks for all your help, team. Yay. You throw your first dagger, drop him. Second dagger, drop him, and then you blink, and you move, and you feel yourself pulling like at the navel back to that dark interior part of yourself where you feel like you're standing and Ted is somehow there with you. Hmm. And in the space of that heartbeat, the little like cuts and wounds that were on you close up, sparkling with iridescent light. And you open your eyes again and you are whole and powerful. Thanks, Ted. You don't hear anything back. You can't just talk to people all the time. Hey, <laughs> God. We don't have cell phones. <laughs> Someone invent the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dariax, you're up. Fern, you're on deck. All right, uh, so as that guy crumples, I look over towards Opal and I'm like, well done. Thanks. Uh, where's the other? Uh, and I look over and that one is currently over on the wall. Those are both dead. And I don't, do I, I think see? You can, I think you can see him because you could like see Orem and his sword pointed out in some guy that's just like on a knee like, Yeah, ah. there's just like three inches of sword coming up from behind the lip of the stone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. Then I'll, then I'll be like, my, it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump off the the pile towards the two boxes that are in the center of the room. Yep. Kind of getting a running start, Ooh, kicking okay. up onto them, and then jumping in the air in that direction and 
casting sacred flame while I'm in midair towards oh, the guy. Yes. Yes. Comes in the view, like, yes. If we don't care about cover, go ahead. Yes. Uh, I, I, by the way, this is all about the attack. We'll get to my horrible landing in a moment. Oh no. Uh, so he gets to make a deck save. Yes. We could be heroes just for one day. Does a 12 make it? A 12 fails at a 13 oh, DC. So he, oh, 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 shit! Eight points of radiant damage. Woo! Roll the name. Matthew Mercer, how do you want to do this? Oh, <laughs> no! oh, I'm excited! Oh, that was so cool! Yeah! Whoa! Yes. That's what it feels like! That's cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna let you stick I'm the kidding, landing because you did enough to kill the guy. So. Yeah, yeah. So jumping through the air, kind of slow mo. The the light from the spear actually transitions through the arm to the other side, and as he unfurls, yelling in slow mo, the light bursts from his hand, and as it beams over towards the the entity, it just kind of Whoa. ignites him in one flash. You watch as instead of being a, a corporeal, corporeal figure, it is just shadow burned away like mist on a quick, hot summer morning. And in that brief moment in the middle of the air, he's like, yeah. <laughs> and just fucking eats it on the ground. <laughs> Ass over tea kettle. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that is, that yes. Chef's kiss. Yeah. Yes. That was the feel good movie of the year. <laughs> Just a bunch of badass idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> All right. The field is clear. The hissers are gone. And you're alone in a warehouse operated by the nameless ones. What do you want to do? I have to come clean. I don't know what illusory script is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I. I mean, I don't know what that is. Do you? I. Uh, that person, uh, Pasca, said something about that in this coin that she hit me in the eye with. Um, Wait, what's it? What, what, what? I dropped the bag of coins, and he asked me if I did the thing. I said I did, but I didn't know what he meant. Do I have any idea what a loser script might be? Give me an arcana check. All right. I'm going to give you advantage just because you have like worked in thieves circles. OK. Uh, it'd be a 13 minus one, 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't have a sense of what that is as a spell, but you have seen both like the aggressive use of thieves can't and also like little bits of magic that cover up and change messages mm -hmm. that you've like received them before. You have no idea what the casting of it is like, but yeah, you've been in and around this. Right. Cool. Uh, this is used for like hiding messages and shit. I don't know how it works. Uh, here. So do I? Do we put it in the bag of coins we're supposed to leave for Pacha, Polka, <laughs> Pasca, Masha, Pasca? Mochi, Mochi? <laughs> uh, I feel like that's what she asked for, and I didn't do it. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here for a second and breathe. Yeah, that's probably good. <sighs> Oram, uh, what do you think? I'm going to. Uh, Search this place. Yes. Yeah. It will help. Yeah. Sweet. Um, I want dirt on these people. Cool. Uh, thankfully, uh, the blaze that you kicked up, you you have some like light in this room, uh, and I'm not going to. By the way, is there anything like? Is there a chance this flame could get out of control if we don't? <laughs> no. Uh, the way uh, when one of our bad boys like smashed it, kind of like smoldered and crumpled it, okay. so it's not a bonfire. Like it's like just like yeah, we did it, guys. Yeah. So everything just burns <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> that would be on brand for you all. I'm trying to give you a cool yeah, moment. Please funny. let me give this to you. Make it sure. Love give you it so much. much. <laughs> okay, so I guess while they look, I'll, I'll look for the bag of gold that I or platinum that I just threw in there. Yeah, uh, you see that like it hit and skittered open. Oh, and it's just like a bunch of. Well, coins. at this point, fuck it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like looking around this area, you see that there's like a little. I don't have to point to it. Uh, there's like an upraised area with a, a big like great door that, uh, especially you, as you're closer to it, you hear something inside. Does the door go in or down? It goes down. It's over here. <laughs> so oh, that well. trap door, oh. trap oh. the raised area. Yep. And we got a door over. And door. The, uh, yeah, right. you you absolutely see the door at the back of the room. Mm -mm -mm. Other than that, lots of books and art and gold and lots of cases of stuff that you have no idea what it is. Okay. Should we give a peek? See back in the where 
Maybe door first before. Yeah, before we go down. Mm-hmm. The last mm-hmm. trap door we took had a giant nine foot bug in it. Maybe we should take the smaller door. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, does anyone here need like a break or something? Or are we like gung ho right now? Well, why don't you stay here and guard the crate? No, fuck that. We're going. Or, uh, <laughs> I cast mm-hmm. your wounds on myself and I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah! yeah! I love it. Seven hit points. I can get to, to max. Yeah, I'm good. Nice. Okay, so what are you guys checking out first? Maybe gonna, the, that room in the back? Yeah, the door. door yeah. yeah, the door in the back. Okay. Uh, you head back to the door. It's heavy. It's like you can feel the weight of this, and it is absolutely locked. Hmm. Uh, without touching it, does it look like uh, any poison needles are going to pop out of it or Ooh. drop on us or anything? Give me an investigation check. That's not really my thing. Uh, 12. <laughs> With a 12, it doesn't look obviously trapped, no. <laughs> I touch it with my toe. <laughs> what part do you touch? Toe? Uh, just under the doorknob. I'm graceful like a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Ballet. Yep. More than football. You yep. kick a heavy lock and it jangles uh, reproachfully at you. Okay. Like a reed in the wind. You were. <laughs> you know me too well. You were good with locks. What? Yeah, yeah, no. Perfect, Adam. What's up? Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Pull up pit, lock pick, get down low. You're not the only one who's limber. Oh no. Take 10 steps back. <laughs> <laughs> I do not check for traps, Dang I just go in. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me a few tools. Check. Oh. Yes! <laughs> oh, I was gonna be so meticulous about the way you like fuss with it for minutes before, it, like you get those locks in and you hear them dissolve oh, as like a little bit of glass breaks and acid pours and instantly corrodes your lock picks and you pull out like little stumps, like little matchsticks. <laughs> See, I've been using these for a while, didn't need them, figured it's a good time to go ahead and retire them for now. <clears throat> I attack the knob. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll for me. Lock pick. Uh, Lock pick. That so. is a uh, super low roll. Uh, that is a nine. I don't know how the door, the, yeah, you, uh, describe for me, are you attacking it with a sword? Uh, yeah, I'm attacking, attacking at the, um, does it have like a knob or a latch or? So you've got this like extremely big, heavy, like locking mechanism and knob that's just like, a foot in every direction of just metal, and then a heavy like wood door. So, are you going to track, uh, try to attack like the locking me- mechanism and knob, oh, man. or the no, wood of the, the door? Hinges. I'm gonna start hacking away at the hinges. I'll give you a nine can hit hinges for sure. Okay. All right, roll me damage. Oh, wrong one. Uh, that is a nine. Hmm. I need you to pick another number. This is, I'm getting a lot of nines right now. <laughs> no, kind of stressful. that's it, just ones and nines. Cool, perfect. <laughs> yeah, another you're, set. <laughs> uh, you're able to dismantle the upper hinge. There's two more on the door. I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, you don't have to keep rolling. All right. It's not gonna do it. That's a one, but I'll re-roll it. My God. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after a while, like you have to absolutely obliterate this door in order mm-hmm. to get into it, which is the moral of the story. And eventually, like you destroy the hinges and the door is kind of just standing freeform, like that's how thick the door is. It didn't fall away oh. once the hinges were gone. Right. So you want to just like kick it in? Uh, yeah, I'm going to run and then jump at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Does anyone want to jump in and do it together? You could do yeah. it as a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, I'll do a head ram. Yes! Oh, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to assist you. Oh. Yeah, you do it with advantage. Are you sure? <laughs> with strength. With advantage. Go for it. Go strength for it. is the go, go. Okay. go for it. We'll just find out. Tell me afterwards what your strength sure, is. Sure, 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 sure. I'm uh, I'm rolling just a strength. You would check? advantage with uh, my. Don't you have, no, no, I have a special move? I do. I have a special you... ram attack. Yeah. With my half length. <laughs> oh, oh, it was almost a twenty. Advantage. Oh. Because I'm assisting. <sighs> Seven. <laughs> You run right into it, you're gonna take one point, <laughs> one point of bludgeoning damage, and the door like wobbles and stays put. Jesus. Oh. Anyone else? I, could I Eldritch Brand. Blast the door? Yeah. Make an attack roll. Is that a bad idea? Not at all. I don't Can't know. Do it. It's always fucking doors. Why not? It's always doors. It's always doors. 
Okay, that's gonna be a... Uh... Why can't I ever add these two numbers together? Hold on. 13. <laughs> yeah, 13 hits, go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Be something, an aspect of this specific dimension. Nine. <laughs> And boards. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I am haunted oh. by this number. This is nine. Uh, this is crazy. Tired. I believe you. So nice, though. <laughs> I'm tired of playing with this door. It wobbles and finally <laughs> falls. <laughs> we did it. You did it. Yeah. We tied her up. <laughs> Murder we tired out the, the top GM. Of door. <laughs> I can't. The door can't be the thing that stops this from happening. No. Well, <laughs> while while they're taking four hours to destroy the door, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm gonna swallow my pride and kind of sad to lose my my thieves tools. Look over at Dorian and be like, I "Think it's worth uh, worth rolling these bodies while they're finishing up over there?" Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I keep looking at Orm, so I'm going to look over at Orm. Oh, no. <laughs> He's not wanting that, buddy. <sighs> All right. All right. Ooh. Let's go and see if this search through and rummage through the corpses to see if there's anything remaining. If there are corpses, even at this point. Uh, yeah. Corpse searching. Um. Well, you obliterated one into like beautiful light and dust, and yeah. it just dis- disappeared because it was pretty. But yeah, there's uh, three other corpses in the room. And you're able to take off. Uh, well, a lot of their uh, armor is absolutely useless, but each of them have like 20, 20 or so gold mm. on them. Nothing really useful. There's a couple uh, vials of poison mm. on their person, oh. and then uh, scimitars, daggers, and the one that disappeared dropped a heavy crossbow. Uh, crossbow. Oh, okay. If you want one of those. That's cool. Uh, not my style, but I'm gonna take these weird vials of in non-discriminant liquid that I don't know what they do, but I'm sure it tastes great. It says poison on the vial. Yes, I said it was poison. Drink. I also not Can't. great at reading. Respect. Ah, so respect. Uh, I pocket them anyway. Do yeah. not drink. Yeah. Do not drink. <laughs> <laughs> say, uh, uh, fine by me. Hey, uh, how do you feel with the with the scary purse? Are you, uh, do you nothing? Nothing at all. I mean, it clashes in the outfit a little bit. No offense. I mean, your cloak looks amazing. Just maybe not on me. Um, otherwise, feeling pretty, pretty good, pretty spry. Huh. I'm starting to think more and more we made the right decision by keeping it. Mm-hmm. I think that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go over to another body and start rifling through. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. There's, okay. there's not a whole lot going on in exactly. the place. Yeah. Twenty bucks. Yeah, it was 20 bucks and some some light daggers. <clears throat> uh, but you all that finally opened that door, you're in a room, there is light in this room. Mm-hmm. The torches are already lit, and there's just rows upon rows of boxes, all sealed. Oof. Um, uh, do they s- seem dangerous? I mean, I think the we should boxes? assume in here. Do you want to do a check about it? Yeah. What's that? What kind of danger are you looking for? Uh, I suppose more of that um, oily damage, or that oil. So you're scared of, of like a magical bad thing. A magical bad thing. You mean Arcana check. Okay. That is a 15. The 15, you like reach out with those arcane senses that you have. You don't feel anything. Okay. Don't feel anything? What do you think? Should we give just a little, a little pixies? Are these, these are more crates and, and barrels back here? Yep. And looking at the crates and barrels, uh, you recognize their origin. Or um, half of them are from Zephra. <gasps> uh, that's weird. What's weird? See that? Yeah. That's where I'm from. I open one. Pry it open. You make quick work of it with your daggers, just slipping in and popping it open. There's no trap. This is just goods being shipped. And what you open is 40 pounds of refined residuum. Um. I, I, I thought the words, it's been a while, and then I thought the song, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> Did it to myself. Yeah. But um, 
Do I have any recollection of listening to her talking about, is this something to do with the towers at home or, or anything of her plans and working with her friends? You heard snippets, little bits, the, the little crumbs you get when someone is trying to hold information back but can't help it around someone that they're around most of the day. Yeah. She had deals with her friends in Whitestone, and you never really knew what they entailed, but you know where Residuum comes from. Yes, I do. And you know what it's used for. This is powerful. It's not magical in and of itself, but it is a, a catalyst to make magical items, it can be converted into sewage, which is a very popular drug on the streets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is a lot of things. It's a, it, it, it's an amplifier. And you're in a room full of it. Wait, what do you mean an amplifier? It, I, I don't know how this stuff works, but I, I, this makes magic stronger. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can. I, I hold some in my hand. And, and I'm thinking of the worth in my hand. Holy, holy. Is there anything else in here? Are there, is there any documents or any kind of records? No. Just the stash. Just the stash. What do people use it for? Like, what would they be? Clearly they stole this from a ship. Who would it have been going to? I mean, it could be anybody. You can use this stuff for all kinds of things, so it could be used for for, for Weapon? good purpose or for bad. Well, it, it could make it easier to hurt people. It could make it easier to help people. It all depends on who's using it, hmm. from what I understand. But it's expensive. Sh- that I know. Should we? Take some with us? <clears throat> we should take some, yeah. I'm not gonna make you roll for it, but I need you all to know that you've busted into the stash of a powerful, secretive thieves guild. You've wrecked a lot of it. And now you are contemplating taking the most valuable thing in this room, inclusive of the circlet that Dariax is currently wearing. Are you going to take some of the residuum? Yes. Are you going to leave anything for Posca? We left the coins. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe no one should know we were here. Oh. How easy is this to transport? Is it liquid or solid? What? It's like crushed rocks. Oh, oh, oh. Glowing green rocks. Oh, that's an interesting point. What if, what if we take the coins and your illusory script that you definitely did and just go back to the house and just bring the, 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 the coins to, to is this bad, what I'm saying? No, I think that's a great idea because we can just say we never found the warehouse, give her the coins, she can leave, maybe she doesn't know it was us. There's two dead bodies, a pile of dust, a giant bonfire, and a hacked up door. So then... She'll know we were here. But you just said maybe it's better if she didn't know. How are we going to fix that? But she did also think that We were not capable of killing just her, so maybe she would... Yeah, she might not. Maybe she set a trap. I think this was us. Wonder what's in that trap door. You make your way over to the trap door and open it up, and you actually see a baby. (gasps) Did you say a baby? baby? Oh God, I had to finish the word! (laughs) It's an an unk egg. Like a little... Oh, a baby. (laughs) Oh my God! (laughs) It's like a little pupa! You came in before he said, yeah. A baby, um... Baby Ankeg. Yeah. A baby Ankeg that was, like, yep. was in the ship. Uh, in, like in a compartment in the trapdoor? Yep. 
it's kind of a pupa. It doesn't look as dangerous. How, and there's how, a cup. How big? Ooh, uh, like three by three foot cage. And there's a couple other like cages open. Uh, I'm not going to make you roll for it. There's money in a lot of things, and exotic pets are one of them. Okay. I'm just throwing it out there. I got some friends in Kaimul. If we want to go lay low for a few months, we were no. tasked with stealing for Pasca. That's right. And now we're stealing from Pasca? I know what I want to do. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I want to take some Don't of this stuff us. to the fire, Ashari. <laughs> oh, you want to what? I want to take some of this to the fire, Ashari, and get word back to home. I mean, it's from your home, so it's not technically stealing. You're stealing it back. They need to know that this is happening, that, that, that they wouldn't want this to be happening. And it's over my head, so we find the fire Ashari, they get word back to the air Ashari. She'll know what to do. So do we take it? Yes. She'll know what to do? Is this someone that you work for? Not for a long time. We've stumbled upon something much larger than what we bargained for. But Pasca is still a problem. Yeah, I mean, I thought to bring down everyone's mood here, but if we take this, they're probably going to kill us. I mean, yeah, she's a problem, but if we don't go back to the townhouse... We call the city guard on her. Tell them she's there. She's a known criminal. Advise us a few days. Yeah. I came here to help. I did not come here to do whatever it is we were doing. You guys can do whatever you want. I am taking some of this to the fire, Ashari. Well, let's just do that then and not go back to the townhouse. I mean, I've slept in worse places. How much do you take? Uh, cantaloupe's worth. Do you leave the circlet? I look over to Dorian. I mean, Maybe leaving this would, like, balance the debt? Uh, <clears throat> is it a bad idea? I don't think something like this should be in the hands of someone like that. Maybe. All right. All right, then we, uh, we hold on to it. But we're getting a new bag. I want my cloak back. Oh, yeah, no, totally, totally. Uh, You're able to rummage up a better crate in here. (laughs) (laughs) Like a bag or something for to swap it out. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks. Now you trusted us, right? We gotta trust you too. That's how it works. Yeah. I'm gonna put you in a place of discomfort to pursue our whims and curiosities. It's only fair. Just a different target on our back, right? A bigger target. Probably a much more sprawling and eventually deadly, but still gonna be fun. <laughs> still gonna be fun. And with that, yeah. you walk out of the warehouse and into whatever's going to come next. But that's a story for next week. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I can't believe you guys. Oh, that's so fun. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. what a cool All right. Wind it up. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Ooh, I got chill. Okay. So scared of Pasca. <laughs> Absolutely should be. Cool, but we'll worry about that next time. Listen to me. We're done for today. <laughs> Gotta do something about Pasca. I know what street beefs are. Street beefs. <laughs> that sounds like a different thing. But until then, until we see you all again, is it Thursday yet? (laughs) 
the rain pours as the weather worsens in Iman. And slowly, through the weather, footsteps are heard, and Posca stands in front of her warehouse. She walks in, sees the corpses, the destruction. And then she sees the door at the back of the warehouse open, and a box pried open. And at that point, she turns, and into a small sigil tattooed on the inside of her wrist, she speaks three simple words. Burn it down. And across town, in the upper slums, the penthouse is set ablaze. <laughs>